somebody got a VIP room with me. They didn't want me to dance. They wanted me to hold them and like lay like their head on my chest and I was just like rubbing their head and they paid for an hour just to cry. Like, Ew. so I'm like holding him, like petting his hair, like trying to make him feel better. But I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to say to this, my yeah, guy? Like, I wasn't trained for this. I wasn't. I was trying I was to throw ass. What's up, friends? And welcome back to IE and Friends. My name is Saul Gomez. My name is Caesar. My name is Air Bear. And today we have a very special guest. It's been a long time coming. We've wanted. We've <laughs> won been wanting this for the longest. We finally made it happen. We have Sophia, Hi. aka Cha Cha. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We have I like to a stripper on the show. It's exciting time. I like to call myself your fave TikTok stripper. Your favorite TikTok stripper. Um, question how exotic you, dancer, exotic sir. dancer, is, art is, is, there, is there a term like does it so matter? So, I personally don't care. Like, uh -huh. a lot uh, of okay. girls do get offended and yeah. they're like, I'm an entertainer or I'm a dancer, yeah. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I, I really don't care to yeah. be honest. But mm -hmm. like, TikTok, we have to like oh, you know, yeah, you censor gotta, it so it's like spicy gymnast or like spicy uh, accountant, yeah, you yeah. know, like yeah. kind of yeah. like they, do have that. Have you figured out the scripper one yet or no? I a don't scripper. like that one. I, I use the dollar, <laughs> I like use a Dollar Tree, oh, okay. like the dollar, dollar sign, sign, like tripper. Yeah. Like that's what I like. <laughs> Fire. Um, so question, when did you start getting into stripping or dancing? Uh, no, so I started dancing like two months before I turned 19. So I started dancing in 2019. Uh -huh. Um, and that was like the best time ever because I was really? like right before COVID. I got like one full year of like proper stripping yeah. until COVID happened. And, and then so now it's like a whole different type of it's a stripping whole, environment? like new game. So like as like COVID like started going on and happening, like the yeah. club shut down. Club shut down for a couple months <laughs> and then they opened back up. But then like it was like new rules and regulations yeah. like had to wear mask. Really? Uh, we couldn't for like a good like month or two. We couldn't actually dance on people. Damn. Like, because, like, no, go? like, physical yeah, touch. Yeah. yeah, so it was, like, it was, like, basically, like, if you were, like, in Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, dead like, ass. A, like, a dance. Uh, <laughs> go watch it. Yeah, yeah, watch it. Yeah, yeah go like, watch it. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> like, yay. What? Yeah, we just recently just went to a strip club. Yeah, it was how our was your first experience? time. It was kind of like Grand Theft Auto, I'm not going to lie. It was. Was it? It didn't feel like it, <laughs> yeah. but, like, it, it did. Like, I knew the proper things to do, you know? Oh, my gosh. Did and you get a lap dance? Yes. We had, we had to. to. And I under, honestly, I understand it now. Like, yes. I understand yeah, why. It? What happened? Yeah, you understand. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I understand why people go. Yeah. Like, I felt like better than i've ever felt before I felt it felt like, nice <laughs> leaving yeah i'm it, glad it, that you left with like a smile I felt on your like face. a proud dad when i was watching them enjoy their time i was like these are my <laughs> boys right here they're enjoying their time and then and like, ah, at one point i'm not gonna say who said it but they're like this place is dangerous i'm like why he's like i hate this you're like why you hate it because i love it so much yep. and they're like is this is dangerous for me and i was well, like and that's oh. why people get confused when there's like regulars at the club like there's people that like come to the club because they just genuinely have a good time there they're mm -hmm. like there's girls here like because they're like i don't like going to a normal bar because if i go to a normal bar there's like maybe a chance that they'll come home with me yeah, or yeah. like i actually have to go up to girls where like at the strip club like they just come to you all that anxiety is gone like yeah. girls come up to yeah. you you're getting drinks you're with your boys like you're dancing there's good music like you're having a good yeah. time you're seeing women all around and then it's kind of like there's no downside there's no yeah, downside to like, this you know you go to the strip club and you're guaranteed to see titties yeah, okay yeah, like, like yeah the, the, the titties are there the yeah, booty is there it was such like a, and then our stripper was so nice and she was so she, nice well, she looked bro. like my ex-girlfriend <laughs> I don't see it. I don't I see showed, it. I showed Saul after, uh, and he was like, I, I showed, I showed him, and he was like, Yeah, okay, I agree. Yeah. Oh so that was, but she was really uh, cool. She was really cool. She made us feel she like. Did, like, did that, that make it better or worse for you? Honestly, I kind of, I was conflicted. I'm not gonna lie. I stopped talking to her. I was like, I, I started looking at the pole. Started crying. I was like, She was like with us for like what an hour and a half. Yeah, she did like, her like, job. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah job I do that a lot sometimes. Like if like it's slow and like there's cool people I'm talking to, even if they're not giving me any money, like and there's nothing else going on, I'll just sit there. That's fine. But then like usually most of the time like they'll just tip me for the, my time oh really so i know if you ever go to a strip club and you're like i don't really want dances but you're talking to a dancer give her like a 20 or like 50, yeah like while you're just sitting there because it's still her time like, yeah yeah while she she's spending be. time with you she could have been like talking to another dude who could have yeah, been giving her money yeah. for dances we did tip her pretty well though because we I, I ended up having to go back to the atm you probably spent all your money when she went up on the pole and you had to go back to the yeah. atm well, no because like yeah, 300, she, 400 she was with us yeah we, 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 we literally were just talking we didn't give her any money and then she went on but then she like got caught up to go on stage she was yeah. a whole different person and, and oh my crazy god oh, i thought she was super sweet super like innocent and so was there, her, she was like, on stage was she like, was like demon time oh my gosh. who the yeah. fuck is this the, girl the heel clap no, that, that shit yo that went crazy i was like, in my sleep 
I wish that was my alarm clock. Oh, hell no. That, like, that shit wild. hurts me. I feel, like, I feel like they're cracking their ankles together. No, bro, it's like heels, right? No, no, no. no. Yeah. It's, so the fun part, it's actually the tip of the heels because oh. you, this this is too tiny to hit, so it's the, the tip of your oh, heel. Okay. Oh, you, you hear like the noise difference. Yeah. Yeah, you got to do it with the do tip. Oh, shit, the okay. What about the pole? Do they lube it up with anything? No, no bro, because so, oh, you'll, you'll slip. So you slip. slip. So oh. we have like this thing called like dry hands, which is like chalk, yeah. right? Like you use chalk. it to lift. Yeah, so you lose, <laughs> use it to like go up like the pole and everything, and then like girls will put it on their thighs because oh, yeah, okay. then like it won't like. Burn. But like I've gotten bruises all like right here yeah. from like uh-huh. doing tricks or like right here doing tricks. Yeah. Uh, when I first started dancing, my legs were beat the fuck up. Yeah. When I tell you like my. Le- my ex got so mad because he was just like, your legs are so beautiful. And now they look like I just abused you and kicked you. And I'm like, I'm, I was like, I'm sorry. The bruises are so terrible. Yeah. But it's true. Like once you start dancing like a couple times, like your, your skin toughens up and then. Yeah. Cause hearing that sound. I, oh, I, like every time, every time I've ever gone and I've heard, I heard those like the girls go all the way top and they slide down. I just yeah. get that sound on just oh that, that metal. On, I literally just start like rubbing my thighs. I'm like, oh yeah. Like, I, I don't know how, how. I, there's, so I don't do a lot of tricks, but I do like have a few that I do like uh, I do all the time. Yeah. So I go to the top, I flip upside down, oh. and then I let my hands go, oh. and oh. so I just drop to the ground, yeah. stop myself, handstand, like, and then I fall back into the splits. Oh shit! I vividly saw that. Yeah, I was. I, was, I, I saw. I the saw it. Too. I was like, I it. and the I like, reaction. I love the reaction I get every single time because people, because they're like. <laughs> They're yeah. like, yeah, I like, they, they think I'm gonna like hit my head yeah, or anything. And they just don't. Yeah. Have and you then, ever gotten hurt like doing any of these tricks? Oh my god! So I never got <laughs> hurt doing a trick, but there was like one time. I, I this is the embarrassing part. I was I was kind of drunk, okay, because I just turned 21, yeah. and like my club is cool and they let us drink uh-huh. and stuff. So I was like, it's like my week of turning 21. So I was just like, oh, uh, I'm I'm gonna drink, I'm gonna drink, I can drink now. Like I'm yeah. getting an Uber home. Like <laughs> it's it's okay, but um. I had grabbed the pole and I was dancing and like people were throwing ones, were throwing ones and the ground was covered. And I go down to the ground and my foot, like the heel slipped on the ones. Ooh. And what I do, I catch myself when I went bonk in my head. <laughs> and I had to go off the stage. I went off the stage oh, and freaking, shit. I had to like ice, ice my head. Yeah. And it was so embarrassing because there was like some professional like football players in there <laughs> uh-huh. and they called me into their booth and they're like, what's wrong with you? And I was just like, Man, um, I hit my head on the pole and they just started dying laughing. Yeah. I'm like, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> Should have asked for one of their helmets. I was. Just, no, <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Man, it was um, definitely a cool experience. It, it, caught, it threw me so off guard because me, this was kind of like my first stripper experience in the United States. I've done one in Mexico, but I don't think. Oh, I that's. that's- that's it didn't really different. count. It didn't really, yeah, it's different. That's different. So, yeah, it's a whole different vibe. But this one was cool. But honestly, I came in thinking that like they're gonna be like mean and be like, oh, pay pigs, poo, like spit on me and shit, right? <laughs> oh, oh my god. I just, I just thought that was you the thought vibe. Like you were just gonna come in and they're like twenty dollars. Yeah. And then <laughs> and I, I didn't think, Yeah, honestly, that's what I thought. And then when like I just saw like especially that that girl that was sitting with us. Yeah. It was cool how she was just we basically had a podcast with her. Like we're just like talking about just random shit. Like we're just laughing, giggling, and all that stuff. Oh yeah. And then she gets on stage. It's like a whole different persona. And I'm like, whoa. That's how it is with me. So like on stage, me is very different than like who I'm talking to uh-huh. on because it's like <clears throat> you want to make your stage presence known and like pretty like dominant and stuff because yeah. like you're attracting like the whole crowd. Like everybody's seeing Everyone's you. Looking, yeah. Whereas like one on one, like you. Can kind of like gauge like because i change my personality for every single person i talk to oh, in the club ooh. because not every customer wants the same type of person like you gotcha. like one customer could like want somebody that's like a bimbo ditzy like yeah, yeah. oh my god like you're <laughs> so funny <laughs> oh my god like you're so cute yeah yeah and then like another one is like wants really to talk sh- about the really, environmental political yeah like it's like state. oh like wants to talk about their day their business like you have to be like a therapist sometimes therapy room the like, therapy room therapy room, room. Yeah. yeah like i there was, oh my gosh. So when I first started dancing, one of like the, fir- like, I think it was like the first month I started dancing. I was not prepared for this. Somebody got um, a VIP room with me uh-huh. and they didn't want me to dance. They literally just like wanted me to hold them. They wanted me to hold them and like lay like their head on my chest. And I was just like rubbing their head. And they, they were telling me, they're like, I'm going to kill myself. Like, oh, shit, and shit. I like, I was not prepared for it. Like I, it was literally like, my first month ever yeah. dancing and i was just like what the fuck like so i'm sitting here he paid for an hour just to cry Damn. like so i'm like 
holding him, like, like petting his hair, like, trying to make him feel better. But I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to say to this? My yeah, guy, like... I wasn't trained for this. I wasn't. I was trying I was, to throw ass. Which is why. <laughs> <laughs> therapy room coming near you yeah, therapy soon. Room. Therapy room's coming. We have a plan. We have a, a, a full-scale plan. Yeah, we have We're going to create a gentleman's club. It's going to be called a the therapy room. Okay. So even if you, you put on your card, you know... Your wife can't say shit because it's a therapy. therapy room. Yeah, so it's gonna be a strip club. She's gonna with- drive down that way too. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck it's is gonna this? Be, it's gonna be a gentleman's club filled with with dancers or entertainers or strippers, whatever you want to call it, that are registered. either getting their license or they're registered therapists. Oh my goodness! Right, Sounds that's so idea. funny. <laughs> I feel like I genuinely am one sometimes because then there are like regulars that like I know Uh damn near like their whole life. Mm. Like I know everything about them. Like I know their wives. I know their kids. Like I know everything that's going on. I know about their job. Like (laughs) I know for real. Like I don't think I I don't think it. Okay, so (laughs) this is my experience now after having gone and gone. I don't think going to a strip club is wrong. Mm-mm. No, I don't think I don't think there's anything wrong with it because I think it's a breath of there, fresh air. It, it one, it's like it's just distracting as fuck, and two, like the stripper's not gonna go home with you. I I like, say the, the strip club is legal cheating. Legal yeah. cheating. Legal yeah. cheating. Yeah. It's, like, it's, like, it's like legal cheating because I say it because like one, you're right. Like strippers aren't gonna go home with you. Mm-mm, they're one, not. I'm sorry to break it to whoever's listening. Strippers yeah. aren't gonna go home with you. Yeah. Like, yes, yeah. mm-hmm. that's right. <laughs> That's true though. I mean, if you are bringing one home, there's a different word for that. Uh huh. So we'll we'll let you know Aaron's story in a little bit. Oh my god. (laughs) (laughs) But like, I just say it because it's like more for like entertainment, like people. But like a lot of guys do come to the strip club um, because they're just like one. They're like, I'm just want to escape like the reality of like my life right now. Like Mm -hmm. either it's just like there's trouble at work, there's trouble at home, like this, this, and that. They're coming in there because they're just like, I want to be distracted with some tits in my face. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm, I, yes. can do it on the, I can do it on my phone. Boost your dopamine. I can do it on my phone, but it's just. I feel like it's not the same. I yeah. feel like getting caught on your phone is a little bit more dangerous than getting caught at the strip club. Really? What do you mean, like watching porn? Like or like like if you were like, say like a... because like if you're at the strip club, you're talking to this person, you're getting like the attention like that you want, but mm-hmm. like if you're on your phone, getting that same type of attention, like that's I feel like that's more like emotional cheating. Oh, I get you. Mm-hmm. Does that make like sense? Like you're looking for it. Like you know? like you're looking for something else because like oh like the- if you're but if you're cheating like on the phone. Okay. Yeah. I meant like like watching porn or something like oh just distracting. How do you feel like so? Do you think like OnlyFans and stuff is cheating? I don't think so. Like if she does OnlyFans. No no no. no. Like if oh, like subscribing to OnlyFans. Yes. Yeah, like, so, like I feel like some girls think it's cheating. I feel like that's just I feel like it's not cheating. I feel like there's something peculiar about the per- the the man if you have like a girlfriend or something you have to do yeah. that because it's like why would i need that extra like satisfaction you know because i'm that i'm going out of my way yeah a strip oh. club is way more distracting because there's music there's lies mm-hmm. there's drinks there, my yeah. friends are there my homies are now watching fucking yeah. on only fans all together well we did once but <laughs> <laughs> people do that for uh trisha paytas only fans oh that they all yeah that was like together? a trend on tiktok because her only fans is like three dollars so like people would like pay for it and they would just like watch it like together, on the, on the living like, room to, TV? To, like to see what like what the fuck is going on sometimes you just have to <laughs> Kanye West, Kanye, fucking nah, goes Kanye through West, Reddit. Kanye West does Reddit. Yeah, Kanye West goes through Reddit That's and goes checks out the OnlyFans. He's a billionaire. Doesn't yeah, pay for OnlyFans. He doesn't pay for any 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 girls OnlyFans. He just walk, goes on Reddit. A lot of people do. Yeah. Which I'm but like, That's Kanye sad. West. Kanye West, he has the money to do it. I feel like exactly. it's like a power trip thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's that egoistic type thing. Like I'm not gonna pay for OnlyFans, but I still wanna watch it though. No, <laughs> well, that's the thing I'm too. Sorry. Like it's like. There's a lot of power trip when it comes to like that type of stuff. Like especially like even in the strip club, like men will go in there with no intentions of spending any money on the dancers. They just want to look. Mm. So they'll just sit there and look. That's boring. Yeah, it's boring. And they're like, Well, I can they're like, Well, I can get pussy at home. And it's like, Okay, then go home. Yeah, then go like, home. Like, yeah. like, I'm like, you're not getting pussy here yeah, either, I, but yeah. like go home. Obviously like, you're not getting pussy if you're here. Like if you just, just don't look, yeah. then look at fucking porn. Yeah. Like what's yeah. the whole point of you being here? Yeah, like, the strip was an environment. I would, I would personally go with my friends celebrating something special. Yeah. more than anything because it was like that fun like we yeah. celebrated something together i even think like it's a good idea to get bottle service yeah we were asking her about a like a party club. because yeah. usually when you go to a club and get bottle service you kind of do it for the attention because i mean you got the you got the, the fireworks lights. you got yeah, the signs you want yeah. like the girls to come to you but at the strip club they're already there for you yeah so they it's provide like, them for you yeah and then you yeah. get a table have you seen that like one meme that's going around like with the bottle service sign and it says your card declined yeah <laughs> <laughs> I want to, that'd be funny just to like do it. And they still give you the bottle? Like, yeah, right? You still get the bottle. <laughs> yeah. Just to get more attention. Like, yeah. The and the thing I think I've enjoyed the most about the, the club, call it the club, 
was the feeling that you get of just like all these attractive women coming towards you, which never really happens in real you feel life. Like a king. You feel like a king. You have stacks of like like ones, mm-hmm. so it just looks like you just have more than you have, mm-hmm. and you just have all this attention. And then like the loud music, the cool songs, you're just like, yo, like this is a fucking movie, bro. It's it's a vibe because yeah. like. I recommend you know, it. I recommend going to a strip club. <laughs> yeah. I know I do. I thought I was <laughs> fucked up though when we were with that girl. And then like we were like oh. we we're sitting down with the ones, like in the stacks. And then we like laid on the table, like we just like if she was a starving child and we had like a steak on the table. <laughs> okay. We're like blah. I didn't think about it. I didn't, think, we about it her I didn't shit. think about we're it. Like, it just didn't fit my pockets. Yeah, I like, no, I know, but I know that we just put <laughs> on the table just to be more comfortable, but it was funny how we just laid it there and, she, and it, it felt like a starving <laughs> child and we just put a big ass fat steak on the table. You can't fucking have none. It's like that like sponge we ended up, where we it's ended like, up, I don't need it. Yeah, yeah, we ended up giving her a lot of it, though, when she went on, st- on the pole, okay? Yeah. That's all I'm saying. We got all the strippers on us at one point because we gave that. No, well, we felt bad. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you've ever, ever gone through this. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. How do you get uh, back from this? Ha- have you ever gone up stage and not received a single one? Because we saw that happen yeah. when we went. And we bad. felt so I felt so bad I just want to go up to her Like here's 10 I was on a budget so I didn't like, I already gave We were on a budget <laughs> though, So Yeah So I've had that happen A couple times But I'm like I just know it's not me mm. Like at the point in the, Like when I first started I was just like Oh my god Like what the fuck yeah. And then like Now I'm just like Okay it's not me It's, like it's, a like, boy. it's, just, it's just like the crowd yeah. Like right away When I go on stage It'll be like Maybe like 8 9 o'clock yeah. 10 o'clock Like that's early time Like stripper time Is like Midnight through 3 a.m. Stripper time no, unless no. unless when I, when I was in Miami the clubs are open to like six yeah that's crazy that's <laughs> yeah. wild bro. Miami we out we're used to two yeah. o'clock yeah. that's why because yeah when I worked in Miami the clubs were open till six a.m. and I was like what the fuck and I I was tired. dead I was yeah. tired so, damn, <laughs> that's a, so but like normally yeah like up till like three four a.m. sometimes like mm. the clubs will stay open if people yeah. are spending money they just can't serve alcohol past two oh. so like if you're spending money though the club will stay open Jeez. and you just kind of like gotta hustle through it but. I have gone on stage where I haven't made any money and like it doesn't really offend me anymore mm-hmm. but like the first stage set when no one's there it's always like a stretching like stage set like oh, I just man. go on there and I walk <laughs> and I just sit and I'm like okay there we go <laughs> what, do you, what, what goes through your head because I was like so I was, while I was watching I was like what, did, what are they thinking because I personally was not thinking Think anything by, like, like literally list. my mind was blank yeah. <laughs> my, mind, my mind goes blank your mind like, goes okay it, it, like I don't really think about anything or if I am thinking about it something I'm like oh I want to go upstairs and get a snack I'm like mm. should I change or like, it's, <laughs> yeah, just, like yeah. it's just like things like I'm thinking about but like nothing like it's or like, like did my I forget day. to take off the chicken yeah like, like, yeah, cross like the chicken just like random shit yeah. like how many times do you change Cause I've seen this, I used they, to change, they, they like, change quite a bit. I used to change like twice, maybe three times when I was like mm. younger. Cause mm. I was just like so excited to like yeah. show off all my new outfits. But then I'm like, now I only wear one outfit throughout the whole night. Cause oh, okay. I'm just like, fake it. Yeah. Like it's not that serious. Cause I've noticed like almost every dancer that's at any club ever, like they always change at least one time. I've, I've, now I only really change if I have like a wardrobe malfunction, like if my top breaks or oh, okay. if like my fishnets like rip a little bit more mm. than I want them to. I'm like, oh, okay, like uh, then I'll change. But you don't have you ever done like wigs? No. Oh my god. Okay, so <laughs> I've never done wigs, yeah. but you know, like those like extension like ponytails, yeah. like the jawstring ones, yeah, the long in. ones, uh-huh. yeah. So this was a couple like months into me dancing, and I had one of those ponytails in, and I was on stage. And luckily, it was dead as fuck. There was maybe, like, less than 10 people there. But yeah. there was somebody on the stage, and I was on stage. But I, like, come out, and I'm dancing, doing my own thing. And then it comes to the point where I have to take my top off. Oh. And oh. I was wearing, like, oh, <laughs> I, was wearing like a, I was wearing, like, a one-piece. Yeah. And uh, so the way I had to go is go like this. So I went like this, and the <laughs> strap caught on the ponytail. Oh, and, it, and the ponytail yada. came out right in front. And there was a customer sitting oh. right in front of me. <laughs> so, so he like, just ah. he just like watched he just watched my hair come off, and he just <laughs> and I'm like oh my god and you know when you put those things in you don't look cute with the little yeah, like, you have bun. Like, it's right like a little bun like this big <laughs> and I'm, like taking it off and I'm like oh my god and so I get up my titties are out and I'm bald <laughs> and like and like so I'm like get it up I, I, I he picked up my hair he picked up the hair and handed it to me he goes you dropped this and I'm like 
thanks and I like go and I like go put it down by my bag and I'm like and I have and they didn't let me get off stage I had two more songs to go what? they didn't let me get off stage so like now I'm like walking around trying to take this bun out my no. hair so I don't look bald yeah and it was just a fucking mess. I was so I was so bamboozled. But after that, yeah. he still ended up getting a VIP room with me. He was like, "Take it off, take off yeah, the wig again. again, take off the wig." <laughs> that was my favorite I think trick. He just felt so bad. He was like, "Oh God," he's mm. like, "I need to help her out." Yeah, I'll look, look bald again. Yeah, I have a question. I'm sure, Amber Rose did. So I have a question. I don't know <laughs> if you want to answer. So I don't know if you guys want to like like tell on yourself. But so there's like the there's like the room where you go to do the dance, right? Yeah. And then there's the champagne room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are the differences so, between the two? So the difference, at least between my club, so yeah. there's a champagne room, which is like the luxury suite. Like yeah. it's a thousand dollars for an hour. God, like damn. it's five hundred dollars for the champagne, and then five hundred dollars for the dancer for the hour. Okay. We also have a like an additional thing. You can bring in an actual server, so we have like you know the servers and the thing. bring in wings. So if you bring, at the same if you time. bring in like a waitress. Um, it's a thousand dollars, so a thousand dollars for the dancer and a thousand dollars for the server. Yo. So it's like it's like two grand for the. It's like actually twenty five hundred for the room. Damn. Um, and people pay it all yeah. the time, yeah. you know, like because it's just like whatever. But like you go in and like the champagne room has like a TV, has like the couches, has like the luxurious like stuff. It's more like secluded, yeah. like because the way mine set up is behind the stage, so like no one can see. Whereas yeah. like a VIP room, like the normal basic ones. Yeah they're like in like a circle like a half circle and everybody can see everybody mm -hmm. and uh, like it's it's like three walls but like in a, like a couch but yeah. it's not as nice as a champagne room where the champagne rooms are like oh i feel private like it's it's but like it's not like super like secretive or like yeah. anything like that because like the managers or bouncers come in like every like 10 15 minutes to check on oh, to okay. make sure like the nothing. dancer is safe yeah. and like nothing is nothing going, going on. crazy because if that stuff like the extras that yeah, people yeah. you know think that happen at the clubs and don't get me wrong i know they fucking happen yeah. and like i've seen it happen and you know stuff more i've seen what it more club? happen what in club like miami especially miami what hey, club Mike, miami what club <laughs> Just so I don't go there. Because we had to go to the strip clubs for, for this. So we had to learn about the strip club oh, before you, you came. Yeah, you're It was an educational yeah, purpose yeah, yeah, was, strip club it. trip, yeah. right? So it's a tax write-off like we were talking about yeah, yeah. last yeah. time. Mm -hmm. I just don't so. want to go to that club. But we, what is that club? Just for yeah. just to avoid I'm not, I'm not out here avoid gonna it. expose yeah, these people. <laughs> you can let us know after. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you. I'll let you know the details after. Uh, <laughs> no, like the thing is, it's like people forget like that's illegal. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, yeah. like and a lot of people are like, oh, and it's so like offensive. Like some guys will be like, I'll give you a thousand dollars right now if you let me if you let me hit. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, I'm not gonna lose my job over a fucking thousand dollars. I'm not trying to go to jail. I'm not trying to get a ticket. I'm yeah. not trying to yeah. like get in trouble for that. And people really think like that's like all it takes. They're just like, well, if I pay you, mm -hmm. and I tell people all the time, I'm like, I don't have to take anybody's money. Like even if a guy like comes sits down and is like, hey, um, I want to dance from you, but I'm getting like a weird vibe. I can just tell him no. Yeah. Like we're oh, independent okay. contractors, mm -hmm. so like we can tell him that, no. Yeah. yeah. Or like I've also done rooms where like I've had to walk out on rooms because you know they keep touching and keep yeah. grabbing me, and I'm like, stop. Like or like, and I'll give. I usually give like two warnings. I'm like, hey, knock it off. You know, they'll be good. And then they'll try it again. I'm mm -hmm. like, no, I really oh, said yeah. knock it off. And then I'll leave. And they're like, well, I paid for it because I pay for it beforehand. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I told you no. And they're like, but I paid you. I'm like, that doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, I'm yeah. leaving. Yeah. Yeah. And the managers and the bouncers are going to be on our back. Yeah, yeah exactly. They're going to back us up. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. So don't be fucking doing that. Has there any been like. <laughs> I don't know what I'm pointing at, but you know. <laughs> you know. Don't be doing that. Don't be doing that. <laughs> What is the age you prefer for the customers to be? Like, what's what's kind of like the best age for you? Ooh. Okay, I really... And you know what? I'm not a fan of young guys coming in to Why the club. Is that? Because they always hit me with this line. They're like, isn't it so much better dancing for me than, like, old men over guy. there? And I'm like, no, because you don't have as much money as <laughs> old men. <laughs> 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 old men over there's a thousand dollars and nothing to him. He's like, yeah, here you go. Here you go. That's a CEO over there. You're like, like, nice to see you. Like, you start a like t-shirt business. Yeah. for this $20 from you, yeah. my guy. He's on a budget. Like, he's, on a budget. He's, on, he's on a budget. <laughs> when we went, we saw two, like, Remember? Old ass dudes. Grand yeah. Grandpa. We got, saw grand some pop grand pops. You know, two grandpops. We saw pop pop. Fucking. <laughs> they're they're like literally. I'm not like they're retired with their fucking pension. With, with their pension. One k still ready to go. They were like literally like in their late seventies and they were there just chilling, just drinking and <laughs> they're watching having a good time yeah, though. Good you time. know, like they're there. I, was, I, hey, they, I wanted to be their friends. I'm like pop pop can I have an allowance. <laughs> I want to throw these ones, pop pop. They're, they're there with the insurance boy. money from the from the from, from their wives. From, from, 
<laughs> they're there with their social security fund. No, 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 no. no. They're Yo. there with the life insurance from the grandma. Yo, oh, from mama. mama. From, oh, from, from mama. From, from, from. Because oh, they sad. From Meemaw. Think about it. They're sad and they have maybe over $100,000. Oh, yeah. They had Meemaw's life insurance. They're yep. throwing that shit. <laughs> No, you say you see an old man. Ask him where he got that money. Life rest insurance in peace, money. Rest in peace to me, ma. But these ones are going out there, homie. I mean, yeah. I do some shit. I do some shit like that. Helped out the next generation. Oh That's God. what yeah, she would have wanted. Me, is helping out the new generation of that girls. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, I just, that just clicked in my head. I was like, bro, there's no way Social Security taxes making that, that much money. That my boy. How would you feel like later on when you're married and everything and. Um, you for like you're probably like 80, 90 years old, yeah. And then you unfortunately you pass away, and then now your life insurance money gets sent to your husband. Oh my gosh, I just feel like it's a circle of life. <laughs> 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 She told him like you better spend the shit strip club. On the contract, go to the fucking strip club. You know club. it comes around, goes around. Yeah. Okay? He met yeah. at the strip club and ends at the strip club. <laughs> no, yeah. I I do think like my favorite like crowd that comes in are like the thirty to forty year olds. Yeah, of course, yeah. Like yeah. they're like young enough where it's like entertaining to talk to you. Yeah. yeah. But like you yeah, guys are like old enough where it's like you guys already have like a family. You're like you're not here trying to take me home. Mm-hmm. You're, like they're yeah, not yeah. like doing all that. Like they're yeah. just here because they want to see like something younger, and that's not their wife. People like coming in the strip club because it's something different. Yeah. It's like I get to talk to so many different, I get to flirt. Like I think men like going to the strip club because you guys actually get like the attention that women normally get out in the real world. Like mm. we get com- like women get complimented a lot more Yo. and like the attention a lot more yeah, out in yeah. public without us. We're even fucking, fucking munches. We have to pay for it. <laughs> I know. God damn right. Such a pay to feel like a fucking boss, bro. That's yeah, cool. But did you but not feel good? good? But did you not feel good? good? I might did even go tonight, good? honestly. When I, but right <laughs> when I walk <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I feel good in there, but when I walk out, I'm like, oh. No, nah, 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 that's no. That's the real crap. world. Him Next. and I were driving and I looked at him and I was like, oh shit, I spent a good amount of money. Like, well, decent yeah. and then he's like me too and I was like I don't regret it though he's like me neither yeah. because it's an experience exactly yeah. like I I don't really spend a lot of money on like material things I like spending experiences. money on like on experiences. experiences and like the strip club is an experience like you're gonna have fun you're gonna have a good time memories it's yeah. good like exactly. they're not gonna follow you back they're not by gonna, the way yeah. they're not I learned that <laughs> they're not gonna follow you back they're not following I you follow, back I follow some people back but if I unfollow them if they get really weird so like uh, I tell people I'm like I'll only like follow you and follow them back and like because like this i give people like my socials and stuff so they could ask me when i'm at work oh okay. yeah, like, that's like, it's like a business, it's a business yeah because yeah. i'm like ask me when i'm at work i'll let you know like yeah. then like because that's like how i give like my regular stuff like i don't yeah. really give out my number because like that's pretty dangerous what yeah. if you do get their number i don't like doing that but i actually have a whatsapp number though oh yeah uh for that so then like they feel like they have my yeah, number yeah, yeah. but it's yeah, yeah. it's not it's all she had that's she had to crazy yeah, that's so, crazy. but like i i'm like i prefer like social media because i'm like okay that way it's like a little bit safer and yeah. then um and like a lot of my obviously like a lot of my like socials are literally like about that's stripping content, and stuff yeah, like something. you know yeah, so it's yeah. just like they're getting what they want to see anyways yeah. But a lot of them think like that's the go to like ask me out. Yeah, they're like oh. I can take you on this lifestyle, baby girl. What's up? The, the, men, the men that do that, the men that say that, Can't I'm like, uh, I'm like, <laughs> no, I'm like, baby, like, how are you gonna afford me with two hundred dollars in your bank account? Like, <laughs> like, I saw it when I walked into the ATM. That shit ain't gonna work out. You deserve out. more than this, queen. You're better than this. I can take you out of this. Lifestyle. Did that ATM at the strip club have the have your balance? The balance, not. No, I didn't. Right? No. I'll be like, damn, that's crazy. Imagine just like. Nah. <laughs> I'm walking away after this fucking dance. Fuck that. You're like, wait a minute. I'm like, you pass by, it's like 250. I'm like, nah. have you ever had like, <laughs> oh, had like a wife or a girlfriend like barge into a strip club? What's up, friends? Before we continue with today's episode, we are going to shout out our friends at Manscaped. Yeah, Manscaped! Spring has sprung, and our friends at Manscaped have the best tools for some spring cleaning. Mm. They've already helped you uh, tidy up with their nooks and crannies of your body's basement, but this year, Manscaped can get you the perfect presentation on that beautiful face with the new Beard Hedger Pro Kit. Make sure you look your best this spring by using code IEFRIENDS to get 20% off plus free shipping at manscape.com why it was so small (laughs) i was like how are you reading this yes i honestly man i use the hedger kit literally every day now especially because their brush and comb are fucking they're great they're amazing i literally i've been brushing my beard way more and that even helps with beard growth to be honest i really use the shampoo and conditioner too yeah a lot like i'm a shower i'm actually wearing the beard balm right now because it beard balm yeah so like so you know when you're a beard usually just fucking spreads out in different directions it keeps it down and it feels 
feels a little soft. Gives also. it a little, yeah, it gives it a little uh, shining look. A little texture. Yeah, mm. nice little smell. So it's time to tame your mane with the Beard Hedger Pro Kit. The sun is peeking back out, Ooh. which means you'll have to show your face in the daylight again. Uh oh. So use this kit to make sure your scruff looks award winning, whether you got glorious beard flow or smooth, sleek cheeks. Mm, some sleek cheeks. The kit starts off with the Beard Hedger, a waterproof cordless trimmer with a rotary wheel that gives you 20 hair cutting lengths, all with one guard. So no more messy drawers full of add ons. It also right. comes with titanium coated T blades that are tough on hair but smooth on your face, leading to single stroke efficiency that brings satisfaction one stroke at a time. Damn, single stroke. The Beard Hedger is a high tech piece of art in a travel size package with a long lasting special, uh, with a long lasting battery, universal charging, and strong mortar strong. motor. The next. The kit has the liquid goods to make you feel good, starting with the beard shampoo and conditioner. You can't treat your beard like you treat your pubes. That's mm. why the kit has a special shampoo and conditioner specially designed to moisturize, reduce ingrown hairs, and replenish your beard's natural oils and promote beard health. The beard kit also has Manscaped's beard oil. The nutrition infused oil relieves dryness both on beard and skin beneath, while still adding a little shimmer and shine to living up, to living up the look. Cap it off with a beard balm. A pomade that shapes, styles, and moisturizes, bringing the amazing scent of fresh eucalyptus, rosemary, and lavender essential oils. Not to mention, the Beard Hedger Pro kit also comes with three free gifts. Ooh. A beard brush, a comb, and scissors to ensure your beard is ready to impress. That's right. Save 20% off, plus free shipping with code IEFRIENDS IE at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with code IEFRIENDS IE at manscaped.com. Focus on the face and use the Beard Hedger Pro Kit for the cleanest look in the game. That's right. Thank you, guys. And now back to the episode. 50, I'm like, <laughs> have you ever had like, oh, had like a wife or a girlfriend like barge into a strip club? No, I actually haven't had that. Um... I've gotten like I've had like people have like calls from their wives oh. or their girlfriends like yeah. in the middle of the days and they leave. Uh, of course, and like and they they leave. They're yeah. just like I gotta go. I gotta go. Like there's like five calls. I, I left like, my location on. Like something like that. <laughs> Where are my you? Location. Do oh, I yeah. swear I'm the bar next to a strip club? There's just a bar. I swear. And a strip club. I, I'm at the there, bar. There's one in like that. Yeah. It's right across the street. They got good wings. I swear. They got good. I only keep. Okay, low key, wings, my club babe. actually does have good wings. Right. That's, That's what every every. <laughs> Strip club says that they have good ass wings. No, like we have like the, the big wings, like oh, the actual shit. wings. They're not like drumsticks and flats. They're like the actual like wings. What club is this? Just for the wings, though. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> I, can't share the wings. I just want. I just want the wings. <laughs> just want the wings. No, yeah, I've noticed that too. Even like when we walked in, uh, when we we're like doing the entrance fee, the security. Like guard. we were talking about food, and then the, the guy's like, the bouncer's like, yeah, they actually have really good food here. The chef is here. Yeah, and he said, don't fall in love with that one. He yeah, said two did. girls' names, and we like, don't fall in love. And then you guys fell in love with them. That's crazy. Um, She's like, watch out for this and this. Did and you, you guys, guys like, do any VIP rooms? Um, the dance. So, yeah. So, we have like the... We just did the dance, but not like the VIP Yeah, we didn't room. do champagne uh, room. We weren't sure yet. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah you guys did VIP. From there. Didn't so the yeah, I think so I could have done a fucking champagne room. Fuck that. At that place, yeah. because yeah. there is cheaper. It's like 250 for, for 30, 30 minutes. minutes. Yeah, 250 for 30 minutes. I champagne room. Yeah. That's so cheap. Don't give them any ideas. We're happy. We're happy here. We're happy here. Yeah, I'm saying it. Okay, well, after this, then like you have a new like perception of it. So then you can go again. Yeah, you're right. Now, like, you know what? Yeah, we can actually do the champagne room because we're actually lucky over we're there right, we're it's, ten, it's like 10 times less yeah <laughs> yeah because here's this i where you're working at where it's a thousand it's miami. Hour, it's miami so it's like they're ex, there's they're expecting customers with money out in miami yeah, so yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, here's just like so warehouse here. workers so just trying to get by, <laughs> <laughs> just trying to have, just trying to feel like a kink for once, you yeah. know. Yeah. They got like, yeah, fuck. So, have you met like any like, like you can't, you don't have to say their names, but like famous or like celebrities? Yeah, and, like um, a couple rappers have came in. Uh, a lot of athletes come in though. For real. For real. Um, James Harden. You know what for mean, sure. Steve, 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 what was his name? Steve will. Steve will do it. Steve will do it. Six <laughs> nine. James Harden nine. definitely six went nine. into your club. I don't know for a fact. <laughs> I already see. I already know it. <laughs> He's, he's notorious for fucking going to strip clubs, bro. Like, yeah. He's been notorious for going to strip clubs the day before a game. Hey, like Just she said, sometimes you gotta fucking... go and spend money. Yeah, no, get, I know. clear I'm your saying, mind. Though. Clear your he's mind like... before the big game, bro. <laughs> A lot of times they oh, come yeah, like afterwards, the like they'll come after like their games to and stuff to celebrate or be yeah. sad and tell you about. Yeah, their like I've, head. you know, like, I know so many like things. It's so bad. Like I think strippers know so much. Like, like because like there's so many CEOs and lawyers and doctors and like very famous people that come into the club mm -hmm. and 
they're drunk and like we're like a pretty face that they could just vent to yeah. because uh-huh. people like just like to talk. So I know a lot of things that I shouldn't know about people and a lot of things like I shouldn't know about certain companies or like certain like things oh, shit. because they just tell me like, you know, the Coca-Cola recipe. I'm working on it. it. <laughs> Once I do, I'm out. That reminds me of that movie Hustlers. The same with J-Lo? Period. Huh? With J-Lo? Yeah, like how like it's just a bunch of super powerful people that go to the club afterwards and then they just vent their shit sometimes too. Yeah. Shit, Some good shit team bonding, bro. Yeah. yeah. Now that's, that's been raining, I've been wanting to go so bad. Have you been sad? <laughs> it's just I feel like it's a vibe. It's just like raining. And you're just driving to a strip club and just feel like a movie. Let's go and let's you take know? let's take the expert and see how do you feel about this Christmas? Oh my god, I would love to go to the strip club with you guys. <laughs> yeah, Everybody. looking at me down. All right, we're doing it. You're in Riverside. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not. We're not. We're somewhere in Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> Don't expose our spot, bro. Don't expose our spot. Because then they're gonna start charging like three k for the champagne. <laughs> yeah, bro. Exactly. Like, have, no. have you ever had like um? You have a question. I have you have a question? question. Keep it. So. <laughs> <laughs> like if you got a boyfriend and you knew your your boyfriend would go to the strip club but not yours would that like, so, trip you out so i actually do have a boyfriend oh okay and him and his friends go to the strip club so we're long distance but he so he's out in texas okay um he goes to the strip club out there every now and again but he is not a fan of the strip clubs mm-hmm. like he's gone there a couple times with me and he hates it like he just he doesn't find like any amusement Are out you of sure? it he he literally tells me he's like He's like, I'll pay them to sit and talk because that's what you said that I could do. And I'm like, I didn't tell you you couldn't get a dance. Like, yeah. I think, I'm like, I don't give a fuck. But like, one of my friends tried giving him a dance at my club and he was just like, no, mm. I don't want, I don't want it. I don't want it. And um, I'm like, is it because I'm here? And he's just like, no, like, I just don't want it. No, it's because it's, it's, it's your, your friend. friend. It's your yeah. friend. He's not going to do that. I don't give a fuck. I'm like, I know you don't care, but it's just the moral like he's gonna be like, yeah, one day like, she might I, say something. She might be like, use it you guys dance for my fucking friend yeah. 20 years oh, down the road. Oh, it's just like, ammunition. Yeah, yeah, it's ammunition. Yeah, it's ammunition. It's ammunition. ammunition. But, so, yeah. nah. I don't, I don't really give a fuck about that because I'm like, I think it's hypocritical for me to be like mm. doing it yeah. and but then get mad that he like it. not being able to go. Mm. Yeah. You know? I see. I see. Like, but some dancers are really about that. They, they're like, no, you can't fucking go. But it's like, I feel like that's more of a projection of like, what are you doing at the club that you're nervous that like your man's gonna get? Yeah, that's what I was Cause, thinking. Because for me, like, I don't really do fucking anything. Yeah. Like, I, I'm there to dance. I'm I work at a gentleman's club, so it's only topless. Yeah. So I'm like, and like they're very strict. I'm like, don't touch, don't do yeah, this. Yeah. Like, I I work at a very clean and safe club, so I love it. Mm-hmm. But so like, I don't care. Grandpa's at the strip club. No, no, no we're at my man at the strip club. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. so like I, I work at a club and I'm like, I don't feel like bad about anything that I'm doing where I know where there's girls that like are insecure if their partner goes because I feel like they're doing stuff that they're like, eh, I don't want you to do, I don't want you to be with somebody yeah, that yeah. kind of like does more or they know girls at the club that do do more. Mm-hmm. And then it's kind of, it's more like a trust thing. Gotcha. And I'm like, definitely is a projection. Yeah, so, so, yeah, yeah. so you know how we say we get deep. So do you think when people don't trust other people, it's just a projection? For the I, most part. I do, yeah, because so my ex he cheated on me like multiple times, like uh-huh. a lot of times, and he would get so insecure about me at the club, and thought like I was cheating all the time. I feel like me being a dancer actually like helps me not cheat at all because I see like the worst in men. Oh. Mm-hmm. Because like when guys go to the strip club, you guys are on demon time. Yeah. Okay? Oh, I, I, yeah, like, my gaze was just like dirty. It was just like yeah, that's like, like, you, I did not care. I, like like your uh, tunnel vision, you're on demon time. You know, my, my frontal is pretty developed. I understand how to look at a woman a certain way when I'm out in public. <laughs> but I was there and I was like a Neanderthal. Bro, like, <laughs> you know what's crazy? No, about no, 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 no. We, 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 <laughs> when I got there, hanging from shit. my first experience, bro, I felt bad and guilty. Looking, looking at yeah them. me too i was like can i look i'm, I'm a little like she'll be there and i'll just kind of look look away and look again i'll she glance was, one of them was dancing and she hit me with one of these and she looked at me and i kind of looked away like, oh. yeah yeah and then like, aaron, we, aaron was guiding us he was our mentor he was like no, so, sometimes like, like, we'll be talking and then, like you just see the corner you see something and then you're just like uh whatever just don't look and then you just see the jiggle and then you're just like, what the fuck was that? I was like, my fat squirrel. ass radar is squirrel. fucking going off. Then the fat ass radar and you can use it there and yeah. you can put it into him. When you're in the club, your, your titty and ass radar is like. And you don't care. Yeah, like if a girl with a fat ass walks past me like in a regular like place, I'm not going to look. Yeah, yeah. That's a lie. I feel like you're looking, you're, but you're I'm, like more subtle more about subtle, it. You're like, okay, you yeah. use reflections. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sneezing. <laughs> you're, you're like grabbing your phone with the camera. Yeah. On like, <laughs> yeah, you're, when you're, but when I'm in a strip club, fat booty pals by I'm like, yeah, because when you're in public, like full on. when you're in like, public, I'm trying. To, yeah. But like, that's the thing. It's like you guys go in like demon time. Like you guys are there to like have fun, enjoy yourself. Like 
do what you're allowed to do because you can't do that in real in like in real world. Like, you know, no like the strip club is fantasy are. world. Yes. Yeah. Okay, it's fantasy world. It's separate from the real world. So like when you go in there, like you guys are in there and like with different intentions on your mind. Like you're not there to find a fucking wife. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, you're there, you're there to fu- have fun and look. Yeah. Hey, you, you never know. You never like, know. No. You never know. <laughs> Fell in love with a stripper. It's he paying. Like, I'm in love with a stripper. She pop and she <laughs> Have um? Did you did you meet your boyfriend at the strip club or not? No, we actually went to school together. Aww. And like, but like, we didn't talk like at oh, all during shit. school. Yeah, like we like re met because he was like really best friends with my cousin, uh-huh. and I like went out to L A. and he was there, and like we reconnected after like five years after cool. high school. So nice. it was like. It was super random because yeah. I was like, dude, I've known you like damn near my whole life and I've never talked to you. Yeah. And like, we just had so much shit in common. And it's like, nice. it was interesting because I'm like, when you talk about like your past, like mm-hmm. to a new partner or something and they didn't go to school with you or like anything, they don't like you. they don't understand. Yeah, yeah. But like with him, I'm like, oh, like so and so. And they're like, oh, yeah. yeah and like, you yeah. know, it's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does he like it? Do you ever role play for him? No, I'm no. not a fan of role playing. No. Oh, okay. I'm not. I just thought maybe you were like, like role no, I'm not saying. <laughs> what what's, what's your role play fantasy? You'll see both. Oh, I'm not saying. Winnie the Pooh. Like, would you like, role, like, did you ever role play with him, like, as you, 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 you as a dancer and then him at the club? I don't know. Uh, oh, gotcha. no. That's kind of boring, bro. That's just boring. <sighs> yeah, that's her job. Like, yeah. My bad. Yeah, why are you doing your job twice? Yeah, yeah. fuck. Or oh, are you doing it with your man? But you gotta, nah, yeah, but bro. No, because when we were at the club, yeah. like, I, some, I asked some of the dancers. I asked them like, oh, like, "Would you mind if you had a man and he came to like visit you and get a dance from you?" And she was like, "No, I wouldn't want that." I wouldn't want it either because like you get shot. <laughs> no, it's like, it's like I I would never want my man to come to the club while I'm working because that's have, a different person. Like yeah. I'm a whole different person in the club yeah. and outside the club. Like exactly. this is like my persona. Like this is like your mask. I'm I'm flirting with all these people. I don't yeah. give a fuck about these people, but they think I do. Mm-hmm. They think I care about them. They don't. You know, like there's okay. there's like right, there's like there's like regulars like that come in. I'm like oh my god hey, and yeah, I give yeah. them a hug and like I chit chat with them, and they think like I'm their best friend. Like <laughs> yeah. but like. Outside, I really don't care. She uh-huh. lied to me. So hard, bro. She lied <laughs> to me. She fucking lied to me. Honestly, I noticed that with, like, with that girl that we were with the whole time. Like, after, like, you know, after we, like, gave her almost all her money, she just dipped. Yeah. I was well, like, she told us she was leaving after that. What do you mean? No, she was still, she was at the bar. She was just chilling at the bar. Yeah, because a guy came up to her. She, of course, she's going to start. Well, like, you gotta, she's gonna go, hang you gotta out. bounce around where, like, yeah. the money is. Because, like, we're, we only have, you know, so yeah. many hours That's to true, make our bro. money. And, like I said, we don't homie. get a paycheck. So, <laughs> you, uh, we only get paid on our tips and dances. Yeah. So, you, like, sorry. Go ahead. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Finish. No, that's it. <laughs> oh, but he looks so nervous. <laughs> but he looks so close nervous. To the mic and I wasn't ready. Uh, um, do you mind like like saying how much you've ever like got like the least of like when you probably when you started? Oh, I no. When I first started, there's this thing I like to call new girl money because mm. you're new to the club, so people want to get a dance from you just to see what you're about. Mm-hmm. So okay. you'll just get money because you're new. Mm-hmm. I think there has been time. COVID was when I made the least amount of money, like in general. Mm-hmm. But like I've left the club negative sometimes because oh. it's not. Mm-hmm like busy so negative so we pay to work yeah. we pay a house oh, fee. Okay. you pay the house to so work we pay the house. Gotcha. Yeah. so like i'll pay like anywhere from 22 dollars to 92 dollars. it just uh-huh. depends on what time i go in yeah but like there's been times where i've left the club like negative 50 dollars, and i'm like damn it, it is it what is it what is. is like it yeah. happens it's like a gamble each time like mm-hmm. i go in there i'm like i could either make a hundred dollars or i can make two grand or I can make, you know, five hundred dollars or I can make three grand. Yeah. Like it's really all like everything. It's a gamble. Yeah. You never know who's Is there show like up. the busiest time of the year? Like is there a busy like when um, you guys know like there's a yeah. peak season? Yeah, What's so there's peak season. Peak season, so peak season at a strip club. Okay, there, 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 there's two peak seasons, okay? Tax so, season, baby. Tax season. <laughs> Come on, baby. Tax season. Come on, baby. It's tax season. So it's like March through like beginning of May. Peak season's Every, upon us. Everybody, everybody gets their refunds and yeah, they're like, yeah. you know what I want? Like I want strippers and I want bottle service and I want this, this, and that. Like, you know, and they go out and have their good time. Remember that? <laughs> This After man. that, bro, I was like, I was at the strip club. I was like, let's go. To, we're gonna go to the club. I'm gonna pay for the bottle service. All this. Shit. You're the prime example. Yeah, Aaron was. He is the. He this is was the two years daddy. ago. He is the text daddy. daddy. <laughs> so, no, because uh, funny you go story. In the club, I could take you away from all uh, this. Yeah. <laughs> funny stories. Funny, funny stories. When we first started this podcast, the day before we started our very first episode, I was at the club. So and it was the same club we went to all together yeah, recently. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm the one that showed them that club for educational purposes. Educational yeah. purposes. We yeah. knew we we're gonna have you on, so we we're going to research. Yeah, love that. Yeah. I like to reiterate that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I went, and this was two years ago, and this is after you know, I, you know, I, I was I was kind of balling a little bit, so yeah. I was like, you know, I feel like going, I feel like going to the strip club, you know. I went, scoped it out, you know, threw a couple ones here and there, and then I was like, I saw this one girl who I really liked. I'm like, all right. 
I'm gonna get that from her. <laughs> so it's like some like thirty year old MILF, like fucking five foot one, five foot two. Yeah. Um, really nice body, whatever. You, whatever, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. complete package for me, right? Yeah, yeah. So guy, I just was we first just sat down and talked. Had a couple of drinks. I even offered her drink. She didn't want to drink anything. So yeah. whatever. Uh, we talked for like half an hour. Then I got a dance. And then at, on during the dance, of course, you know, like you flirt with your, your customers and shit, yeah. right? So it was some flirting. But like, I, I I thought like, you know, this is bullshit flirting, right? So I just shot my shot. Okay. And I said, <clears throat> I literally, this is what, I don't know how this happened. But I said, what are you doing after the club? <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's Stupidest question to ask her because she's going to be like, I'm going home. What the fuck? Like, yeah, uh, I'm going to bed. Like, She's like, oh, I don't know why. What's up? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. I'm just, you know. Um, so I asked for her number. She gave me her number. And I thought, this is probably a fake number. So I leave the club like around like 2 a.m. when it closes. Yeah. I hit her back up around 3 a.m. Because I know she has to count all her money and shit. You thought uh, about her. Uh huh. And I was like, I was like, so, so I texted her saying, "Yo, what are you doing?" I said, "Who it was?" And then she was like, "Oh, I'm just barely getting back home. What's up?" I'm like, "So you want to do something?" And then she calls. I called her, and she answers. And then she's like, and then we were just talking, and she was like, "Yeah, just come, um, come, just come to my house." So I went to her apartment, and I'm not even gonna say what city, but it's a city nearby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the city near you. <laughs> it's a city near you. So we went. I went. I walked inside her apartment, really nice apartment, condo, or whatever. And I was walking and said, oh, yeah, my children are just out right now with my sister. It's not like they're like somewhere where I'm like, oh, you have kids? She's like, yeah, whatever. Cool, cool. And then she just stops me. She's like, did you come here to talk? You came here to fuck. And I was like, oh. You got that like one in a million type of chances. That, it, How much it, you spend, Erin? How much? You yeah. A hundred on the dance. That's it? That's it? That was it. No, I didn't spend to fuck her, no. I huh? pro like no crosses count, nothing. I swear. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah, because he still had money after that. Rare, that's a very rare like uh, incident. Yeah, happens. I don't know how that happened, but then you the, just had got know, the riz. You got that dog in here. You got, you got that, that dog, dog in here. I'm <laughs> telling y'all, Aaron's got that dog. No, no, you no. After I this. Just, maybe <laughs> it just <laughs> stars doing? align. Maybe she was just feeling a little lonely. I don't know. I, She's like, happen. I already have a babysitter. So what's up? So fucking waiting on the next morning. The next morning is like 9 a.m. and I wake up. Because, you know, I, we slept, I slept over in shit after, you know, all the thing that happened. And I remember <laughs> like, oh, shit, happened. we're going to record at 11. We're going to record at 11 a.m. Yeah, My old fuck, I got to go. She's like, yeah, man. She was like waking up too. She was like, yeah, just um, just make it quick because, you know, my boyfriend's going to be coming in a little while. I'm like, <gasps> oh. Peace out, Maybe food. she was just a sex oh, piece out. Oh my god, that's wild, though. No, Honestly, but I ended up, crazy. I ended up becoming really cool with this girl because, like, sometimes I would just hang out with her just to hang out with her and yeah. like spend nothing and just hang out with her. And she just wanted, and she would hit me up like, "Can you just come? I'm bored." Yeah, like, and right. you're like, I know what that means. I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know so, and then she would just, she told me about her entire life. You were her shit. Everything. Yeah, right. I was her, her therapist, yeah. bro. Yeah. If Fucking anything, because she was talking about like, you're like that. But then, the, what got me scared was well, her story about her man. Like, her man. Her man. Her <laughs> man <laughs> the story about her man got me scared because she was some dude who had just got out of jail. Yeah. Big as fuck, like six foot. Show me pictures too. Some you were six, still down to keep talking to her? Dead no, ass, bro. If I would have heard six foot, bro. He was in jail for eight years. He oh was like God. six He's not foot. scared to go back. I, yeah, she showed me pictures like her, she pictures of everything. Her kids or like her and then her boyfriend, six foot three, like two hundred like fifty five pounds yes. or something like that, bro. Well, I don't feel I was, like she was setting you up. <laughs> oh, man, she that's my rob. biggest fear. Oh, I don't know. Getting set up All I know is we talked for like a good like eight months. Damn. Jesus, did yeah. you feel bad? Did you feel guilty about it? Oh, definitely. I was like, why don't you get a boyfriend beforehand? You still hit nah, though. Nah, but that's the thing, though. I don't, uh, you like, know, was, you know that's my, you know that's my rule. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's my rule. That's your rule. No sleeping with like anyone that's taken. But you did it because I know yeah, that you did. <laughs> yeah, after after she told me that we fucked. Yeah. After, but I mean now but now the seal's broken. Because if a girl tells me, <laughs> I'm like, like okay. so keep it as going. Cap as this sounds, because I already know how it feels to get cheated on. At Cap's, I don't yeah. care how beautiful this girl is. If she lets me know that she has a boyfriend ahead of time, yeah. or if I know she has a boyfriend, I'm not gonna want to hit. Yeah. Because I've already been cheated on before too. Yeah, I've been cheated on. Yeah. Like so it yeah. sucks. So I don't want to give but that like, same. I don't want that same bad juju coming towards me again yeah. or anything like that. I so. Don't, because that's the reason why, like, I feel like it's so much easier to, like, not cheat. Like, it's so much easier for me to not cheat or anything. Because, like I said, I see, like, the worst yeah, in men, mm -hmm. like, all the fucking time, you know? And 
Like, a lot of people think that strippers are cheaters. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're, you're an like, exception. Yeah. You're, you're supposed to win a million. You're supposed to win a million. But, like, for me, like, I don't want to, like, after, like, seeing, like, how these, like, men treat me or, like, you know, or, like, they'll talk about their wives or their mm-hmm. girlfriends or, you know, or, like, their baby moms and, like, this, this, and yeah. that or their situationship. Like, they come in here and then they're still asking me to come home with them. They're still asking me, like, so what are you doing after mm-hmm. this? Or, like, yeah. you know, like, they'll still... They'll still, like, say that type of shit. So it's just, like, I don't want that. Like, I'm like, yeah. I found a good one. I'm like, cool. Yeah, I'm yeah. good. I'm set. That's why that, that girl kept coming to me, because she liked me, because I was just really nice. I just talked oh, about her. Yeah, if you're, about, if you're, like, super nice. Honestly, I didn't even talk about, with her. She was kind of dancing. I was kind of there, like, enjoying the moment. Yeah. It was, like, right at Twiggle, and he takes the food in, <laughs> and just closes his eyes, and uh, just feels okay. everything. It was just me just feeling everything. Yeah. Yeah. You're just like, this is nice. Okay, this is nice. I was like, thank you, ma'am. Yeah. You didn't I, call her no. ma'am? Oh, no, I no. was so hurt. No, Someone called cool. me ma'am. Thank you, Donya. Thank you, Donya. Ever since then, I've never asked that same question ever again. I felt like that was just a fluke. Honestly, ever yeah. since you told me that story, I've always thought, I've always don't had ask, that don't in ask. mind. Even Honestly, when we went ask. last time, I, went, yeah, I was like, I'm going to use the Aaron line right now. No, no, no. What you doing after? I always tell people, I'm like, what the fuck do you think I'm going to do? I just worked and I'm like consistently dancing and moving and I'm sweaty and I'm gross. I'm like, I want to go home, take a shower, count my money and go to bed yeah mm-hmm. yeah it's like counting my money counting my ones i'm like it's like counting sheep i'm like okay this makes me tired I'm like, <laughs> that's, that's a great way to count sheep count honestly sheep. just counting count bills ones. yeah Damn. 102 so what are some like unwritten yeah. strip club etiquette rules yeah okay yeah. for like someone customers? who's ne- yeah and someone customers, who's never been yeah. there things to so like do. let's say it was my first time like yeah. what are unwritten time? rules yeah the, oh my goodness unwritten. the rules that like, like the dad would tell you and shit you know? like well go in there and like have a good time like don't be like don't be a weirdo. Scared. Like, just, like, don't be, like, creepy, okay? Yeah. Like, talk to them. Like, we're normal people. So just, like, talk to us like we're fucking normal. Yeah. And then, like, go in there. And if you're not getting a dance, like I said, like, tip them for their time because they're there for to work. Like, mm-hmm. and our time is money when mm-hmm. we're in there, okay? So, like, any, like, like, amount, like, that we talk to you, like, and there's, like, so just go in there. If you're going in there, just make sure you're spending some type of money. It doesn't have to be, like, a whole, like, fucking right. grab, yeah, you yeah. know? Like, bring, like, 200 bucks. 200 bucks to have a good time. You can get drinks. You yeah, can get some dances. Solid. Throw money on stage. And if you're like, I don't really want to dance, still get, like, at least, like, 100 bucks in once and just throw them on stage every now and again. You don't yeah. even have to be like, that's my favorite dance. Just share the wealth. Mm-hmm. Just, you're like, share here, the get, wealth. You're like, you're like, here, here's $5 for this stage. Like, here's $5 for this one. And, you know, uh, like, go Because it adds up in the long run. Yeah, yeah. it does. I don't know. I think that's just like the best thing is just like have a good time, enjoy yourself. Don't take it too seriously. Mm-hmm. Don't get don't, your feelings. Don't, fall don't follow them. Don't okay, love. like it's, it. <laughs> it does sag if you go in there and you're like, I really like her because I have to. Because I've had, I've broken a couple hearts. Damn, where, like oh. hardcore sims. Have you ever like kind of like had like a thing for like a customer? Like you just somehow like you're like, oh wow, like this could, like ha- ever happened to you? It has. Mm-hmm. Like so, there was like one customer that I like was dating but he was never a customer of mine like he was just so he like knew the i actually went to tiktok about this recently um he was friends with the managers and the djs like he Uh, knew them like throughout that so like he would just come in to hang out with them and chit chat with them like he didn't give a fuck about the dancers Mm -hmm. and like he never got a dance with me (laughs) what a boss move and so like he 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 didn't care so um but i always thought he was cute and i was single so i was like hey like what's up like i shot my shot because i was just like hey what's up i love that love that but sadly um he passed away oh shit um so that was like my one like customer interaction. Um, yeah. It was oh. like super sad. Uh, he oh. died over a drug overdose oh, from like fentanyl and stuff oh, like that. Gosh. So um, that's like one thing. Like I don't really fuck with drugs or anything like yeah. that, just because one, I have a brain tumor, and then like two, I've seen so many overdoses and shit like that in this environment that I'm in the club, like the strip club, like industry in general. Yeah, yeah. that it's just like it's so scary. It's very, very, very no, scary. For sure. Could you, could you like elaborate a little bit like on your like the brain tumor thing? Because that was like the reason, right? One of the main reasons yeah. why you went to stripping. So, like a lot of people don't know like yeah. that's why a lot of strippers go into like this yeah, money. So the reason why like I started dancing is because, so there's like two reasons. I found out I was getting cheated on. And so like one of the reasons was like, I was like, oh, I literally just want to prove that I'm hot. Yeah. I was just, like, fuck you. Like you cheated on me. Like I got to show you that like I'm hot. Yeah, and yeah. then like, the second reason was. Um, I had a medical bill that was like two grand even after like insurance because I found out I had a brain tumor, which is it's benign. So I'm not, I'm not dying, but I had to go in like every like do all the lab work yeah. and like the MRIs and all that stuff. And I was just like a little server at Applebee's and picking um, a tax pro. So I was doing people's taxes, which is always like my favorite comment to That's get why, on yeah. TikTok when they're like, the IRS is coming for you. You better do your taxes. I'm like, bitch, I, I know to, how to yeah, do my yeah, taxes. I used to work like, for them. I'm like, yeah. I used to do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but 
<laughs> yeah, that was like the main reason why that was like one of the main reasons why I started dancing is to take care of my medical bills, mm. um, which was super interesting because like it was two grand and I was so stressed out out about yeah, that. That's, all, yeah. that's two grand. <laughs> yeah, and um, when I started dancing, I got it actually like paid off within the first two weeks. Damn. Oh, shit. Yeah, I like I had other bills and shit to pay for, but yeah. I got my own apartment two months into dancing. Um, paid off my car like the first like three months of dance. I, I was super Damn. smart with my money right away. Like I yeah. paid off all my debts, paid off like got my own apartment, like furnished everything, like did all of that stuff. Um, because I was just like I had a older cousin that was dancing and mm -hmm. stuff like that, and she was super stupid with her money. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and I was just like, you're like I don't want to be. Like, I'm like I don't want to be like that. Yeah. And so I've always been like very financially literate. Nice in that stuff. And I'm like, it's a lot of people get trapped inside of it, but. Because of COVID, it ruined a lot of, like, my money. Because I was so used to, like, getting money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so your where, spending habits were... They were that, a little higher. Yeah. But it was more like the money stopped coming in because the club closed down. Uh -huh. So, like, I had money saved up for my bills. But I was just like, fuck, like, I need extra money for food. I need extra mm -hmm. money for gas. Because, like, like, we had to go grocery shopping yeah. and, you know, do all that stuff. But I'm like, when you weren't making money, that's when I actually made um, my OnlyFans. And I made more money on OnlyFans during COVID than anything. Sheesh. Yeah. And then, so I didn't go, so when I came back to when the club started to open up, I didn't really have to go back to the club. Uh, so now I kind of just go back to the club whenever, one, I'm bored, uh -huh. or two, um, when yeah. I just want like extra like yeah. spending money. You know, it's like it's a peak day, peak season. Yeah. Right, like this month? Yeah, yeah, these months. Oh, and then Super the other Bowl. like good like months or during um, like September through November. September through November. Yeah. Huh. Why is that? Everyone's back home or what? It's kind of like everyone's back home, but like it's like weird. Like I've had like the best days working like during those months. Black huh. Friday sales at the strip club. <laughs> <laughs> not not even. I don't even know Champagne what it is. room twenty percent <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, only before that. seven. Only before I'm seven. Only before seven. Be there seven like, no seven a.m. Yeah. They make yeah. it all. Doorbusters. I mean, I'm a pitch a tent. I'm just ready to walk in for the Black Friday. Is it cold? <laughs> oh my god. I was thinking of the other pitching the tent. Oh, my mind went straight to the gun. Yeah. <laughs> my went straight to she the gun. You, she thought you had a boner. Oh. Oh, I, was like, I was like, that you just going to walk in joke. with a boner? Yeah, just, just pretend that's what I meant. That would have been a funny joke. joke funnier. Play, I, I, feel like be, I feel like that happens all the time. Dudes be just walking in with boners to the strip club. What yeah. pants should you wear at oh, strip club? Oh, that's a great oh question. Okay. Don't ever wear joggers or sweatpants to the strip club. Because you My club will kick you guys out really? or make you pay like $200 to get in. If you're wearing sweatpants or joggers. What about chinos? I understand why. Don't worry. The ones that we don't go to, they don't care. Don't wear anything that's yeah. like gonna... Like wear jeans or wear like you can wear like like dress pants like people like would do that dress like, pants wear dress pants boys no. well, like, like, well people like come in like after work like yeah so they like roll the bed. button ups and they're like, how about like pants? gym shorts <laughs> 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 hey <laughs> Miami does get hot though you can't wear oh some like, like what if you had like, some, some shorts nice, some khaki shorts some cargo and some sandals like nice like khaki shorts like they're going out ones such thing as some nice khaki shorts sir some Nike techs what do you mean you wear with the the ones you wear with the button up and shit like anything like you're wearing like fucking like if, gonna, I like, shit, yeah, like, yeah. like if I'm gonna, like if my dad owned a company or something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fuck. No. There's those nice shorts that you can go out to dinner with and shit when it's hot outside. Yeah, I feel you. Just, just don't, don't. wear sweatpants or like jogger. It's weird. Girls don't like the dancers don't want to feel your boners. Yeah, and like, but they all know it's there. We know it's there. We know it's there. It and they've weird. touched it before. I'm just saying, on accident though. <laughs> she was like, oh. no, but she was like, she was like, she was like that, and then it was, and then she was like, oh, and I'm like, oh, oh sorry, oh, you're doing a good job, yeah. <laughs> you're doing a great job, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Uh, yeah, that was that was one of my things. I was like, I don't know what to wear because like I want. I think we showed up like kind of. You don't have to dress to kinda... impress, but just don't be a bum. Yeah, yeah don't yeah, be a yeah. bum. Don't smell bad. Yeah, don't smell bad. Yeah, I yeah. I refuse to give dances to Did people smell? that smell bad. I would too. That's dirty. Yeah. Like I I like I like can't BO make my yeah, head like hurt. BO yeah, like or like or if they I'm not a huge fan of like people smelling like weed. Mm -hmm. Especially because, like, if I do a dance for them, then it gets on me, and oh, then, and then, like, I, and then I smell like that. You know, yeah, like it. Yeah. It's not like a good thing. Um, I also tell girls, I'm like, hey, don't wear glitter or don't wear like anything like that. Yeah, or, that gets like, them caught up. Yeah. <laughs> but then there's like the other girls that like purposely wear glitter for that fact. They, they love like, the oh, drama. I don't know. 
They love yeah. the genre. Honestly, bro, after the shit club, I, I smelled know, like vanilla and... I uh, loved yeah. it, bro. I, I was, smelled good. I, I smelled, smelled, like smelled like soft. I smelled fruity and vanilla. I, 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 like, I, I, fell, I fell asleep like this. Yeah. <laughs> oh I'm trying to keep all the smell close to But no, now that you say that with the girls that wear glitter on purpose, you guys are assholes. I'm hey, gonna, but why are you going to the strip club? I see some glitter, I'm be like, you're, a, yeah, you're an asshole. Okay, why? what about the I men? I don't want to dance from you, even though I don't even have a girlfriend. So you, I just don't want to dance you, from you. Because <laughs> I know what the hell you're doing. Okay, will you go to the strip club if you have a wife, but you just, you're just you just going there just like random as Wednesday? Uh-huh. Would you go there by yourself? What do you mean? Just would you go there by yourself if you had a wife? To the strip nah, it's too, it's just you too wouldn't? much. No, it's just it's feel like it's just an easy caught up. Your wife is smart, smarter than you. What think. if your what if what? Yeah, trust would me, you? your wife is smarter than you think, boys. If I had a wife and I go to it, would I go to a strip club? But by yourself, I'm only by going myself? if it's bachelor parties or something like that. If I'm married, if I'm going with my friends only, I feel like if I'm married for the yeah. most part, I feel if like if I'm single, I even, can go by myself. I'm even, gonna fuck. I don't yeah. think I can go yeah. by myself to the strip club because like I want to party, yeah. and I'm like fuck. Where the fuck am I gonna go by myself now? I party by myself because you end up just making friends there. Oh, that's true. The guys that were next to us were pretty cool. I'm telling you, you make friends. Just a bunch of boner buddies. Boner buddies. <laughs> <laughs> we're all like, let's play. Woo. Oh, I'm oh just kidding. God. I saw that man and the other. I saw that man and me hitting the ATM like three times. I told him, uh, you, you guys high five to like all oh, that boner buddies. Yeah, again, bro. Yeah, yeah boner, boner buddies, buddies, dude. We have boner buddies as well on here on our show. So <laughs> if you're not familiar, we have this segment on our show called Take the Mic, where our fans they send in anonymous. Uh, confessions advice questions yeah. it's just 100% anonymous so uh, we just have, try to help them out with whatever is going on in their oh, life okay is you your fans are called boner, buddies? boner buddies our fans are called friends they're friends <laughs> but also for today's episode we're boner, boner buddies. buddies for today's episode <laughs> <laughs> boner buddies boner buds okay, so or um what is it Aaron wet wet Williams wet wet what Wet, what? No, I don't like wet. that. What are you talking about? I don't know. Why is mind. it wet? Why? Never mind. It's for the ladies, but never mind. Okay. Wet Wendy's? Wet, 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 wet Wendy's. <laughs> yes, thank you. Fuck. Oh, wet, wet Wendy's and wet Wendy's. Wendy's. Like, wet Wendy's. There you go. Yeah, that's good. Boner buds or wet Wendy's? <laughs> T-shirts. Right. We'll start with the first one. Have you ever mentally, have you ever mentally checked, checked out, out of a relationship? If so, is that a red flag? Just leave. Um... Yeah. I have I so my ex like because he cheated on me so much. Um, I'm the type of person that like will forgive somebody until I hate them to make it easier to leave. Uh, oh, to leave. Oh, okay. So I was like mentally broken up with my ex for about like eight months oh, wow. before I like officially like ended things for yeah, real. So and he like he like caught on that like I was distant and like I wasn't doing anything. Mm-hmm. And like it took him eight months to realize that I did that. And he was just like, so what's going on? I was like, I haven't been here, yeah, been yeah. here for like a year. <laughs> But like we had a lease together, oh, okay. so, <laughs> so, so it was kind of like you had the gangster it out. And like, yeah, yeah. It had like tiptoe around it. I was working like a lot more. Like mm-hmm. I didn't have to be at the club, but yeah. I I would literally go to work b- to avoid him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was kind of like at that point, and I was just like, eh, okay, but. Yeah. I, I feel like if you're checking out in a relationship though, like you already know the answer, you're done. Yeah, you're done. Just, you're, you're just do it. Kind of looking for an there. excuse to say, yeah, yeah no, it. just yeah. do it right then and there. Yeah. yeah. Don't waste your time. I agree. Unless you have a lease. <laughs> Waste eight to 12 months, depending on the lease term. <laughs> yeah. Because right. you know how awkward it is to live with your ex? Yeah. Yeah. Especially if they bring people yeah, over. Yeah. Because then you have to go through that like weird hump. It's like either one of y'all is leaving or like you kind of have to like. Wait it out, and yeah. then wait till like someone one person decides. goes on a date, or like goes and brings someone home. Yeah, that's that's uh, fucked up. Imagine, bro, like you're still not over your ex, and they're just like in the other room, and you just hear this is falling <laughs> fucking down. My Superman little <laughs> fucking collectible. Yeah. 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 You guys are you're your like door, are hitting you so your so your plant falls <laughs> on your face because it's fucking bumping off the wall. <laughs> you're just oh, like the uh, fuck. I get a knock on the, the headphones on. Hey, bro, you got any more toilet paper? <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, no. Why, Steph? No. <laughs> he's hey, like, he's like, yeah, I got some. He's like, you don't got nothing bigger. No, no. no. you don't got any magnum. You, on you open the no. door. You open the door. You're like, hi, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you got any no. condoms on you? Oh God, <laughs> you don't got any crazy. magnum XLs. Oh, why your voice no. get deep, why your, why'd your voice get deeper when your dick got bigger? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Hey, because his, his dick was bigger. <laughs> hey, you got any condoms? <laughs> no way. <laughs> Uh, damn, I know someone out there's experienced that for sure. I'm st- In this economy, that's crazy. Uh, next one. <clears throat> hey guys, I want to say thanks for giving me 
thanks for giving me the guy's perspective and thank you Saul for inspiring me a there bit. You go, she said a bit though. Uh, <laughs> slight. <laughs> to get <laughs> therapy. Oh, cool. It's going pretty good. So my question is, do you think if the girl you're dating for a month for a month is doing better for herself, overall health, like consistent at the gym, focus on her over over focus on her over all work and stuff? And you aren't doing shit for you as a guy. Would that make you feel bad about yourself, or would that motivate you to do better so you can grow together and be better together? We'll yeah. give you the floor this time. Um, I honestly feel like so. You want to be with someone that realistically motivates you, right? Yeah. Like you want to be with someone that's gonna make you a better person, either healthier, wealthier. You know, you want to grow mm -hmm. with this person. Um, I just feel like if you're not motivated by your partner, like it's not like necessarily a red flag, but mm -hmm. it's just like, why not? Like, why don't you want to better yourself? Yeah. yeah. And why would you want to feel, why would you yeah, feel why, bad? Yeah. I think, yeah. no, same thing. I don't think you should like, like exactly just like you said, you should have someone who's pushing you to achieve the best. Cause that's at the end of the day, you guys are like a team and you guys want to grow together yeah. instead yeah. of carrying someone on your back, yeah. which yeah. is going to get like tiresome and it's just like gonna be I, annoying. No, go ahead, go ahead. I just feel like you don't want to, like, outgrow your person. Yeah. Like, you'd be sad, like, if you're growing and you're leveling up and your person isn't leveling she up broke, with I'm you. Up. And then yeah, you're yeah. like, but we're not on the same level anymore and yeah. I feel like she's going to leave me. You know, exactly. that's where that mentality comes from yeah. where you're like, fuck, like, she's going to leave me for somebody yeah. better. But what, yeah, there. but he's saying it's interesting, though, because he's saying that the girl's doing apparently better than him. I just don't understand why he would feel bad. I think this is a girl asking this. No, look. Because so she says, thank you for giving the yeah, guy's perspective. Yeah, I think perspective. it's a girl. Oh. Do you so, think of the girl you're dating for months is doing better? So I think better? she's talking about herself, that she's doing yeah, better. She's and doing and better. He, and, the guys, and he's not doing shit. She's like, yeah, what yeah. should you do? I think yeah, so the, the guy should be motivated. He should want to be doing better just like you. you. But for any guys, that if you know exactly how you are and you know how your attitude is, do not hold your girl back. You just got to let, let her, her fly, go. bro. Let her fly. And then vice versa for the girls, too. If you guys know that you aren't going to be motivated, if you're just lazy, don't hold that person. Because if you really care about that person, just let them go. Yeah. Let them let them you're become them better. Time you're, yeah, you're, you're letting, you're letting time them hold them back. You're not going to do... You, if you know you're not going to do better for them, just... And you actually care about them, just let them go and let them do yeah. better. Because you're not going to be the one that's going to be better for them in the long run. Facts. Yeah. Uh, next one. <clears throat> what do you guys think about dating non-exclusively? I'm confused. Uh, because I'm dating this girl and we're not official, but we both enjoy the time we spend together. And I got bored one day and the girl I'm dating wasn't replying for hours. So I wasn't <laughs> her faithful. Fault. It's and her got, fault. And got some head from some guy who wasn't the guy I'm dating huh? over the weekend and kind of feel bad because now I have mad feelings for the girl. I'm dating. Uh, oh, for the girl I'm dating. What should I do? Tell her or not? No, don't tell huh? her. Wait. So I, I think is he bi? I think he's bi. Okay. So he's bi. Oh, yeah. He was talking to someone. Just enjoy the best of both worlds, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, I feel okay. I feel like in the it depends on how long I uh -huh. feel like it is. And if like he kind of like talked about it if it's yeah, exclusive. Yeah. Like if you guys didn't like say right away that you're exclusive, exclusive yeah. but it, it has to be known like from if both parties. Both like, parties. Like you have to tell the person, like, yeah, I'm still seeing other people. Yeah, yeah. Like I just want to let you know. You got to keep it real with them. Like, especially because if you guys aren't dating yeah. and then you guys decide to date and then she finds out later mm -hmm. on, that's going to hurt her because you weren't honest with exactly, her. Exactly, mm -hmm. yeah. And it seems like this this girl didn't really seem like she was too into it because if she said, like, she wasn't replying for hours. But then again, maybe she's busy. I think I think, uh, I think think dating, like, so two loose. to three months, two to three months, you just got to kind of... You, you got to kind of the first the, two to three months like I feel like if you guys like aren't exclusive like I feel like it's okay to go on dates and stuff like that go to dinner go to do but I, I'm not a fan of sleeping with multiple people uh -huh. like, yeah especially going like on dates and doing all yeah, that stuff you're yeah. Yeah. yeah just tell me either you're a whore <laughs> or you're not yeah I, I think there's no in between yeah like I, I, oh. I can't sleep with like multiple people like especially trying the same to time. be in a relationship yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm like I I'm like I will like explore my options like if I'm like you know like I'm like I'll go on a date with somebody mm. and then I'll go on a date with somebody else and but like make them battle not really just make them know battle but it's just like it's just like well like one person like because when you're not exclusive and if it's just a talking stage yeah. like the first like month or two like yeah, yeah like no you're problem. not gonna, I'm not gonna cut off all my hoes for you day exactly. one yeah yeah yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. 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 don't ever plus, yeah don't ever do that all right I don't know what having hoes feels like so good for you okay yeah never go in. Just your stripper hose? <laughs> Just I don't even have stripper hose. He's like, I got, I'm actually a pimp. <laughs> He's actually a... Yeah. Uh, oh my gosh. 
All right, next one. Hey, guys, I love the podcast. So my question is, do you think that you can change your situationship into a relationship when the timing is right? Yes. No. Oh. Fuck no, baby. I don't think so. Yeah. I feel like if yeah. you are already put into a situationship, then like I just don't think it's going to evolve into a relationship. What is a situationship? Care to describe it? I think a situationship is a relationship that one person wants to have and the other person kind of feels indifferent. Yeah, they're like, eh, I don't know. Yeah, you're cool. Let me see. Some days I'm down, some days I'm not. Oh. It's when one party what, is indecisive. What if that t- in that time they actually start liking the person? Well, well, let it go and then come back and see it later. Okay. Yeah, just don't be waiting for don't this be, person. Don't be a munch. That's the thing you don't want to do. You don't want to be waiting. Word. Yeah, don't want to be waiting for a situationship. Yeah, yeah like, don't don't wait. How for do a you? No, you don't want to be waiting for a situationship. You want to be waiting for a relationship. Because I feel like we have a very different definition of munch. I think <laughs> so, there's a different in East Coast. And East Coast and West Coast do different. have different. Um, because okay, so I, I went. We were looking that shit up a while back. Because a munch is like someone that just want like be eating like the the pussy, right? Yeah, that's how I'm thinking about it. But a munch, in my perspective. I'm like a girl doesn't want you, and you're like just right behind her the like whole a time. Simp. Like, yeah. a, like a simp, simp. Okay. extreme yeah, yeah. simp, like a situation ship simp, like kind of okay. like how ice pop. What is it? Because I'm like whenever ice I just hear mench, I'm ice like, pop? oh, he, he a coochie he a monster. Coochie monster. Yeah. <laughs> the coochie monster. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't get that. The coochie monster. <laughs> No, yeah, that's how I always see Sam. I've yeah. heard that before from one person. <laughs> the booty bandit? No, the coochie monster. Oh. Uh. Better watch out for the booty bandit though. The booty bandit. <laughs> so my, my munch is like, <laughs> my munch is different. <laughs> All right, next question. <laughs> Every time I do say munch, it looks at me weird. Like, how do you know these people? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I had a lot of respect for Caesar's physique until I found out he uses oh steroids. S M H Caesar. I'm not on steroids. Stop using Stop that to st- yeah, hop Stop the using testosterone. Be fucking I am not using season. steroids. Fellas. Stop using the touch for replacement, season. man. Come on. Come on, man. <laughs> He's like, I'm trying to grow a beard. Thank yeah, that actually, that's it. That's just it. I'm not trying to look 19. No All right, more. guys, I'm saying right now, Caesar's not doing steroids. <laughs> if I was doing steroids, I'd be like 10 times bigger. Don't fucking lie to the crowd, bro. Don't save him. It's Flintstone. Look, like like how we all know the rock's taking steroids, we know you're doing steroids. Come on, man. He doesn't have to say it, but we know it. The rock does not. I don't look like the rock. But you might soon <laughs> with, the, with the steroids you're taking. Just next month. <laughs> you, just you in two weeks. You just yeah. show up. Fucking I don't ripped. like when guys get too big and then their neck goes away. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Like that's that. gross. They're like. Yeah. <laughs> how do you, my question is, Close if you get that arms. big, how do you wipe your ass? Honestly, bro. Because, bro, your muscles are so huge. <laughs> how can the fuck can your hand reach behind? You're just that big. You don't you just test. Just, you, you need don't a shit, bigger bro. toilet. You're going to have to buy a bidet at that you, point. You know, you know how fiber rich those shits are, bro? You don't have to swipe. Oh god <laughs> Anyways let's read this next one please <laughs> right, I won't be talking about shits here Hi guys this is an update from a couple months ago When I mentioned that my fiance and I Felt like we were a little out of love And we have kids together Ooh. So since then we've been trying to fix some things And try to go out more And yeah there were happy times But I still feel, feel like it's more forced than, an act, than actually genuine Parenting wise we are awesome We can agree on things But I just don't feel the same spark as before <laughs> Aaron, since you've been kind of in a similar situation, how do you know when it's really over? Yeah. How do you know when it's really over? I how do you know to walk away? Close the door, leave your family behind. <laughs> how do you know when that's the right time to do when something do you know? like that? Yeah, when's the time leave to go your get kids milk? Yeah. Sitting there. Yeah, when's the time to go to the store and get some milk? <laughs> you ever heard that song in Spanish? Por mi cucu papa se fue. That's what that reminds me Yo, of. Yo, my dad used to sing me that song all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it was like a nursery. I, I know it was a relationship. Me. Oh yeah, papa, cuckoo, oh, se fue. Died. Okay, but why would my no, dad but, sing that to me as a child? But we can interpret it to death of relationships. On, I'm going to the store. Yeah, I thought, I thought it was him just like Makes leaving sense. his kids. I, the last time I heard it was probably like 12. My dad ended up leaving a couple years after. Makes sense. Con el, uh, <laughs> con el cuckoo, con el cuckoo. <laughs> I think in your situation, it's already <laughs> over. It's all over? It's over already. I think yeah. you're just trying to hang on to something that's not there no more. I think you tried it out. Good for you. Yeah. And now you still got the same results. So you're like, you know what? I did my best. It's time to... Yeah, it's, they, it's hard when there's kids involved. Yeah. yeah. It, it really is. I'd but... rather have two happy people separated than two angry people together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I feel the same way. And but... that's how I knew it was over because as we were together, it was just like, it was not clicking and it was just two people who were just miserable and angry at each other all the time. And then when we separated, it was just two people that were 
calm and collected and just, you know, doing better separately. And then your kids will be happier because if they see you guys fighting or just feel that this, that energy of just like everything's just bad, yeah. mm-hmm. feel you it. can feel it. it. You yeah. can feel it. Trust me, because my kids I've can see it. it. Can even though even if your kids one or two years old and they hear, they see you arguing, they hear you guys get like like yeah. like yelling at each other, like they they know it, and it's just bad for the kids too. So it's better just you know Let's go your separate, separate ways. Ma- yeah. ma- mainly for the kids as well, and then for your well being as well. Dang. So yeah, I would say your relationship sadly. Yeah, I think it's, it's over. over. It's good. Good advice. Do it after this tax book. All right, we'll do two more. <clears throat> Much love, mis compas. Hey, yo, low-key, the besties are fine. <laughs> we got, we got one right now. We got Stephanie in the producer chair today. <laughs> on the real, though, Caesar, when are we going to a rave concert? I want to go to one, but all my friends think I'm emo for listening and wanting to go to an EDM emo. or rave concert wow. festival. They're lame. Yeah, on the real though, some advice I want is on. I'm a college kid. Almost all my friends are in relationships. Y siguen soy, y siguen soy, según, según soy el ho del group. Fucking shit. I mean, I'm a ho con sentimientos. Same. <laughs> I've never heard somebody describe me I've so never heard well. A ho con sentimientos. A ho con sentimientos. Should I actually start looking for a girlfriend or should I just live my college year single? Yeah. I would love to meet everyone one day though. Aaron, you be spitting some facts sometimes. And I know you don't hate women, but the stuff you be saying, they be thinking you do. I let Sky go on the friends. Thank you. Oh. oh, yeah, I forgot to. <laughs> He's like, I just got attacked right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot to. Yeah, I really hate he women. He hates women. Yeah. 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 I really felt he, the hate. He, 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 he goes to strip clubs radiating. and doesn't spend money. Yeah, when you like when you first came in to, to like now. Like, he didn't even you, acknowledge you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He was like. He didn't um, make you a sandwich. Damn. Yeah. He came with food. He didn't even yeah. offer. Oh, no, when you came in, I was like, where the fuck's my sandwich at? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I was gonna say something like that. I'm kidding. I'm sorry. I'm kidding. We know you're not Aaron. It's okay. Yes, I am. We prepared I'm so sorry. her. I'm just kidding. Yeah, she asked us, "What should I be ready for?" And we're like, "Eric's Aaron. misogynistic." And you're gonna say yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. I was just like, "I need to prepare for something." Yeah. And yeah. she's yeah. like, I need "To watch out for you." And she's like, "That's fine. I deal with men like him all the time. Yeah. Pigs." <laughs> in, what way, in what way, pig? Huh? Not in the way you're thinking, like uh, a dirty I hope not. pig. No, oh. a two. Your fucking mouth. You're right, going to this pig. question. Um, I enjoy think your college enjoy years. your college single years. Trust. Enjoy all your all your years. taken friends are living a sad life. They are because they're bored. All probably seem very young. Yeah, they're not going to a strip club. They're not going to fucking EDM <laughs> festivals. Go, go, go. go. Yeah, Let me I know. We'll go. Dumb, that's the yeah. dumbest one though. Emo yeah. for. Definitely when the fuck emo. are you emo? Yeah. Rave is. I feel like your friends emo. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Do your friends speak Spanish? I, I mean English. Because I feel like his friends speak more Spanish, so that's why they're just like, nah, I don't know when I say DM. I think so. So that's why. It is emo. It is emo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he doesn't seem like he's like, from this Dude, area. raving and emo yeah. is like two totally different fucking things. Like, yeah. It's, so it's like happy. It's like bright colors, happiness, dark, sad, angry. Yeah. yeah. It's just two different sides of the spectrum. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of raves But emo this weekend, EDM maybe. music is tight. Speaking of raves this weekend, honey. Oh, yeah, you're going to Beyond? Yeah. You better see Dioro right I there. Am. That's the only reason why I'm even going. Hey guys, I need to get this off my chest. So I've been with my man for three years now, and our sex is whack. And I don't know. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> the way you said it. Whack. <laughs> she put extra K's. Hey, just, no, you should be like whack. <laughs> no, it's, but he it's felt whack. he felt what she he meant. felt the energy yeah. from her whack. whack. She wrote that. Whack. That's it. Whack. whack. And I don't know if it's me or him. <laughs> LOL. Every single time we have sex, it's the same position. He always wants me on top, and I hate it. He takes forever to freaking come, and it makes me feel so freaking insecure. He thinks it's a good thing not to come fast, but it's exhausting being on top for so long. Okay, I can speak on this one yeah. very much. So, so even in my okay, so my last podcast, <laughs> Strip Talk, uh-huh. uh, link in the bio, Strip Talk, go check it out. <laughs> um, we literally just talked about this. Uh, my ex was the exact same way. So, sex like at the beginning was cool. He would only try like one out of like fifty times, and oh. I was on top every yeah. single time. Like Damn. it was whack, it was boring. Like, I couldn't come. Yeah. It was just all about him like finishing. It was mm-hmm. just like okay, it was boring. Not, it yeah. sucks. And I'm like, I can't. I couldn't. It really. I was like, I just didn't want to have yeah. sex anymore. It has to be like a fifty fifty, and you, it was seemed like it was a ninety ten right here. Yeah, he wasn't a munch then. I take no on your on your definition. <laughs> it wasn't. He, he wasn't. He was a coochie not, monster. No, he was right. not a coochie monster. Okay, <laughs> so. <laughs> But, like, the thing is, it's, like, when it gets to that point, it's just, like, yeah, there's, like, love in there. But, like, 
passion and like like i don't give a fuck what anybody says sex is so important in a relationship Mm -hmm. like unless if you're like you know asexual or whatever but like sexual chemistry is very important like unless if he's taking care of you like intimacy like in other ways where it's like he's giving you massages he's kissing you like he's cuddling you and like you like the intimate stuff but like sex is super important and i feel like that can ruin a lot of relationships yeah it's like yeah they gotta try to spice it up and, and like I hope you've communicated that with him. Mm-hmm. You fuck him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you buy a strap on and fuck him. See how he likes it on top. <laughs> that's a good point you See, brought he up. He can though. last if she's communicated it. Like yeah, you know, that's like the big thing because like with me, like I know like for a while like I just didn't say anything, and then like it, and then I would say something. Then he would try the one time, and then it would go back to normal. Mm-hmm. So it was like he would listen the one time, and then it would just be like okay, yeah. like whatever. But like. So I feel like you gotta communicate that with that, and if he's still like ignoring your needs, then I would. Do you think for someone who True. acts like that, they're not really in love with their partner? Yeah, I think so. I, they show, like, I, they I really care. do feel that way. I think so too. Yeah, because I feel like they're... they show they don't really care about that person. Because yeah, I feel like when you're in that like intimate position, like you want your partner to feel good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like you, you want to please. Them. You don't want to. F- you don't want. You don't want to be feel used. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I don't, the yeah. whole point is to pleasure each other. Yeah. Like you're there to pleasure her and she's there to pleasure you. Yeah. And then that's I always say passionate sex is the best sex. It is. It sex really is so much is. better when you like somebody. Yeah. Suck up suck. No, when you love somebody. When you love somebody, yeah. Yeah. When you like someone, you can just fuck them. Yeah, you know? but uh, yeah, when, when you, you love, love someone, someone, it is nice. No it's the f- best one. You love me, or? I'll fuck you. Hard, <laughs> hey, yo! I was asking him a question. So well, don't don't fucking. Think you're Aaron loves you too. So also, you're fucking. I'm fucking. I feel Aaron fucking look at you. Aaron's. Aaron's He's aggressive. like, let me find out. <laughs> I'll choke I've heard stories you. of the old Air Bear. Elosito <laughs> <laughs> Vergon. Elosito Vergon. Um, being in I this wish. industry, I know it could get like dangerous and scary. Have you ever had any like scary like customers, like people that stalked you or just stuff like that? Yeah, I've had a few stalkers here and there. Um, I've had like a lot of people. Um, so when I first started dancing, I lived an hour and a half away from the club. Mm. So I was driving an hour and a half, damn, like damn. communicating, yeah. like community the whole time. And then like I've had, I would notice that like a car would follow me oh, for like shit. 20, 30 minutes. And he's like, damn, this girl is far. She's yeah. like, damn, no, literally. Oh, and then, and then, the and gas then, for and this, then they give up. And then yeah. they give up. Like I saw that a couple times. Um, it was worse for my one friend. Like he would come into the club uh-huh. all the time for her. Yeah. And like she had to ban him from the club and he wrote her like a paper. That's some psycho killer yeah, shit. Yeah. Right like there. he wrote her like a five page paper of like why he's in love with her. And it was like this, this and that. Um, I've had like a guy like propose to me. Um, he gave me a ring and like flowers and like. Oh wow. It, it, <sighs> it's it gets really interesting and he had like a weird um, he had a pantyhose fetish so he'd like bring in like tights for me to put on. I mean, I was getting paid very well yeah, yeah, to, yeah, put yeah. On, to put on some fucking tights. Yeah, yeah. And I was just like, okay, but and like all he would do like for like a half hour would like rub my legs. Like Interesting. Just, that's easy money, bro. I feel bro. like he fucking nutted in his pants. When he no, he trip. was he was he was like really old. Like he was like 60, 70, something uh-huh. like Using that. His wife's license and like, thing. and he had like this toupee that's <laughs> <laughs> that like didn't I'm match sorry. like the rest of his hair. So yeah. his hair was gray, but his toupee was brown. Oh my goodness! Oh. <laughs> like, and, yeah, yeah. and there was one time he asked me how I liked his hair. Uh, and, and you're like, like it's beautiful i'm like yeah it's so nice and then like i went to like you know like pet it pet it <laughs> and, and, and it oh <laughs> it got slipped between your fingers and you're like, ah. I'm, I'm like i'm like oh my oh, goodness <laughs> damn I'm like, it's so uh, hard not to laugh sometimes in my rooms <laughs> yeah i bet i was i was gonna ask if any like that funny weird stuff would happen how about for um in, cause also I know it's like this, in, like just in, being in the industry, like it gets scary. Um, for someone wanting to leave, I've heard like trying to leave like that industry can be a little tough. What do you think about that? I think it's tough for the girls that don't plan on what to do afterwards. Mm-hmm. So the reason why a lot of girls feel trapped in the industry is because they're used to making the money that they're making. Yeah, you know, I would say like on an average, let's say like you you can make a couple grand a week. Okay, you know, sick. and then you go into the real world and you're like, I'm making 
Six hundred, yeah, six hundred yeah. bucks a week. Yeah, you know, seven hundred. You know, like nothing. Like, Working forty plus hour shifts. Yeah, doing where some like, dumb shit. Where like yeah. strippers are like, we see a paycheck like that, and we're like, I made this in like two hours. Mm -hmm. So they, you go know, back. and then so they go back. So a thing like I say like to recommend for like all the dancers out there like fine, make a business for yourself, mm -hmm. get a career. Like you can't be a stripper forever. Like you could do it for a long time. You know, while you look good and while you're healthy yeah. and while you're yeah, still able to good. kick it, but yeah, like, yeah. Well, you, you know, able to do yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that the test? That's the <laughs> test. <laughs> Once you can't get up here, you're just like, oh, just kind of quit, you know. Yeah. But like, that's the thing. Like, you have to prepare yourself. So, but a lot of girls, the way they get out of it, which is like, you know, I'm not recommending this to anybody. Like, don't ever quote me on this. Mm. But like, a lot of girls like go into the club to find a sugar daddy, to uh, find a, like a husband to marry to just take care of them yeah yeah and like you know that happens every now and again for girls but like that's not realistic yeah but that's like that's how girls like leave the industry damn damn you don't mind me asking do you have what is your long-term plan my long-term plan right now so i don't like i said i don't really go to the club anymore i think mm -hmm. i've worked like 10 days this past nice. 10 three months oh <laughs> like, three months the yeah, past oh wow yeah like i, I don't really work a lot anymore because yeah. my only fans took off yeah, you yeah. know took off and everything like that um the thing that i want to do is i kind of want to like be really hard in the club right now and make money to um open up my own tax firm oh, for cool. strippers and only fans creators nice. um for oh, that's, that, that's like a sex worker friendly tax yeah, firm. Yeah. so that's my long-term goal that's after really i smart. finish um, that's why like I'm happy that my taxes are the way my taxes are mm -hmm. because then I can invest into a property and like hire my own people yeah. to start doing that. What's that's like dope. a um uh, yeah, so starting the the tax firm for like the pink collar business, right? What what would like what's something that the normal tax firms don't really help you out with that that you have to make your own? So a lot of things that like is weird is that we get so much judgment. Oh, like it's okay. it's you know it's very judgy yeah. oh. and it's like doing our write-offs not everyone knows how to do our write-offs because it's so weird it's like because like for me like i gotta write off my boobs mm. and uh, because like it's because yeah, it's, it's a body enhancement like yeah, i gotta yeah. write off my lip filler i got to write off my botox like it um and then i get write off makeup i get to write off you know outfits and yeah. shit like that like and not a lot of people understand that and like my guest room in my apartment i get to write off because it's my so office only, my yeah. studio you know um because that's like where i film all my content yeah. and all that stuff but like a lot of my lady who did my taxes last year she didn't help me out at all like didn't like do anything and it was like it was already kind of late and i was like still like struggling to like find somebody that was yeah. gonna help me to do that and she was just like no you can't write off this you can't write off that even though like i found out you know you this could. year that yeah. i could and there's just a lot of like hostility and judgment that you get from that mm. too is because people are very horphobic in a lot yeah. of things mm -hmm. so they're what horphobic what do you think that would come out it's there are two words put in together so basketball <laughs> what is the that fear of whores uh, not not the no, fear not but the just fear, not, like, that's like, it's like they present oh, sorry, judgment that's a phobia, and hate. That's a phobia, phobia. Yeah. sorry they present they, judgment and hate and like yeah. you, so, you're, okay. like that lady like, like how you're like yeah, yeah, woman phobic yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that but oh yeah homophobic. woman phobic yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah 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 um i know i have a friend who was telling me she like hates going to the bank because you know it's, it's so like they just have a bunch of ones yeah. so she like prefers like if they have like a drive through because she doesn't like those stairs i don't give a fig so like, like, like i'm making more than you first of yeah. all so don't yeah. even try to I, I only try to like take it there a couple times but most of the time i exchange my ones back at the club Mm. Oh, because they, they give the big bills. Yeah, they'll give oh, me big cool. bills. I just like kind of turn it. I like like I'll organize it, come back into the like club next day, and yeah. just be like, "Hey, here, give me big bills," and like that's kind of how I do it. Mm -hmm. And then I can go to the bank. But it is it is different because I've gotten <laughs> stairs. I got. I was so pissed one time. I came back. Um, this was after like a weekend, and I had like a thousand and ones. And um, I went to the bank, and she's like, "What do you do?" I'm like, "What the fuck do you think?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's just trying to make like you trying to like make me talk yeah, about yeah. it. Like, if you work at the bank and you see a girl coming in with lots of ones, what do you? Yeah, just leave her be. Just One do more. do your job that you're there to get <laughs> paid for. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't like, question me. Don't nothing, make it feel awkward. Like, I, I own a fucking knickknack shop. What do you want me to say? Yeah, yeah. You're like, like, you're in, like you, you work at the stop me. I had a poppin' lemonade stand. You were trying my lemonade. My day at the me was fucking great. All right, I sold all my. Shit. Fucking Sunday, I took Brittany for a ride, bro. I <laughs> took her out of her fucking lemonade have you ever, stand. Have you ever had like people like, 
or have you heard stories of people throwing fake money? Yeah. Usher bucks? Usher bucks. Um, <laughs> Usher bucks. Yeah. That was, like, that a shit. whole thing. Yeah, that was a thing. Okay, but that was like that was like shame on like the dancer that like came out with that because he did throw like ten grand and right. then like he, he for fun. He, he for fun, uh, he like threw the like uh, Usher bucks. But I think it was for like a video or mm-hmm. something. I don't know the logistics of that, but like he threw Yeah, he, he threw was, money. He threw money and he was like, Why the fuck are you trying to say I didn't spend money when I did? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. That's like def- defamation. Damn. But I would have, I would have like collected it and I would have like saved it. I mean, like, oh my god, yeah, I got so much little yeah, like, like, money. Yeah, I think like, this is cute, you okay, know. Tell a joke. I didn't know that we had a new president. Yeah. <laughs> <It's not laughs> <a random> joke. <laughs> She'd be like, what are? <laughs> yeah, I've never. You know, thankfully, <laughs> I haven't gotten any like fake bills, but like I've seen like girls get like fake hundreds before. But like mm. I, I'm a bitch. I, I grab their hundreds and I'm like, hell yeah, right, right in front of them, and they're like. They get offended sometimes, but I'm like, hey, you never know. Yeah, gotta, like, yeah. you seem really nice, but like, I don't know you. Like, like what if you yeah. got scammed? And it's like, your and it's your what business. Like, what is like they got some hundred, some fake hundreds, and they don't even know about it. Yeah. yeah. So they could have gotten scammed too. Have you ever yeah. seen like those? Like you've you've probably been in those clubs where they like just a bunch of money on the floor, right? Yeah. Have you ever like seen people just trying to pick some up? Oh yeah. yeah, we catch them all the time. Like you'll see guys they'll stand around and they'll like, like with their Phew. shit. They're, they're like they'll, they they think they're so. Sad. Everyone's watching them. I call them out. Yeah. I like actually call them out like around their friends. I'm like, hey, your bro just picked up like twenty dollars. Oh shit. Or like. That's embarrassing. It is bro embarrassing. Boy. I call them out. Like yeah. I will literally, and it's usually like the guys that are like sitting in the back or like on top of the like chairs and yeah. couches and stuff like that. They think. They're like, no one's watching them. They're like, yeah, yeah. Like, but I'm like, trust me, strippers watch money like a hawk. Okay. Like, we know where it's all going. Uh-huh. So, we know if a dancer is taking it or if we know, like, if a customer is taking it. So, we, we, we see that, it. Yeah. And like, we'll yell at, like, I've yelled at people for recycling ones. That's where, like, if you threw the ones and then you pick it back up and throw it again. Uh huh. Don't ever do that. Oh, don't ever do I that. I know that. Yeah. I, I, no, but, but we I, did it I, to I, keep it clean. We like to give it to her. I, I was about to bring that up. I was like, I remember I threw some and then later on I found out there's some like on the floor outside of the stage. Yeah. And I was like, let me just pick it up and I don't want to. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Yeah. That's we fine. didn't throw it at her anymore. Like, like, that, that's fine. But yeah, like yeah. if you're like throwing it and then Gathering you ran out of ones <laughs> and then just like throw it again, like don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. Like don't fake flex. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay, yeah, yeah. We, we did it to keep it tidy and clean. Yeah, we're like, yeah. make it easier for her, you know. That's a oh, he drops something to go. <laughs> for like three right, bucks. Sometimes people throw ones, like it just fucking goes all over the place. What is the oh, I wish I had dollar bills because I never was <laughs> like, how do you throw? Is there a perfect oh, gonna, form? Okay, is there a on. form? I told him one I time figured. where I told him one time. <laughs> where, I was like, I figured I told he had that five bucks. I don't have ones, but I like him, I have like Oh Jesus. Throwing benches up in this bitch. I'm not gonna throw but like after she throws it, I'm gonna be like this. I only have okay. I have more money than this. Are you sure you do more than one twenty? Are you sure? Okay, this is like the one okay, this is the ones I have. But I like doing it the so you can either like fan it up or like you can go like this. What gives the most Spread. When you go like this, yeah. up. you gotta like spread it out and then go up. Mm. Mm. But, it's like, I've seen some yeah, dudes where like they, if they have a big stack, <laughs> when they have a big stack, they like fold. They don't fold. They don't. They, they fold it once without it creasing. So you have it like this, and then you just and they just fucking fly uh, everywhere. Yeah. yeah. It, no, I told Steven that. I did it. I did it. He almost did it. He almost did it. I liked him. I was like, hey, bro, just fold it like that hard and just fucking yeah, just yank it at her, bro. I had that happen to me. I was <laughs> on stage uh-huh. and there was like a banded hundred and I was dancing and dancing and someone chucked it at my head. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I was like, damn, what the fuck? And then I looked down and it was, a, it was like, they were full stack, and I was like, you know what? I'm not even that mad. Thanks for the concussion. If you're gonna do it again, eh, fuck it. <laughs> like, like, do it Make sure it's hundred. I was just like, okay, that, that'd be know, funny like, if someone fine. gets like the stacks, like are still in the rubber band, and they just start throwing like that. That'd be crazy. They're like, fuck, I don't even want to fucking spread these. I had, Here you I've go. had that happen a couple times where like they'll just you know, they'll just throw it. Throw the stack. Yeah. Yo. Oh, yo. I think the most I ever made on stage one time was like eight hundred dollars. <laughs> Yeah, Damn. and I was like in three songs, Fuck. so it was like for nine minutes of work. I yeah, eight hundred dollars. I'm become a stripper. Fuck. For real, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna have to apply a like chip your, and What would you be your like stripper name? Yeah, oh, yes. oh, my stripper name. I was actually yeah. thinking about that today in the morning too, and I just couldn't come up with one. My name's Caesar, so it can't be that. Look, Steezy C's. No, what, I heard it has to be like. Because my stripper name's Sophia. 
Sophia. Your super name Sophia. Yeah. I would like. Oh, what about that's Carlos? Not your name? No, it's not I thought that, that was your real name, and I thought your super name was Cha Cha, like your IG. No, Cha Cha is my nickname that my abuela gave me. Oh, cool. <laughs> I like to What about Cha-Cha? Carlos? Carlos? Some Carlos. Carlos. lover type of shit. Car- yeah. Oh, like, but you wrote the R. Carlos. 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 It's two R's instead of one. <laughs> Here comes yes. to the stage. Carlos. Carlos. <laughs> Show with a rose. It's two R's and two S's. Come on with the little rose. <laughs> Your name is spelled with two R's and two S's. You have the speedo and just like the little bow tie. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Chip and Dale. Like, but I want like a red speedo. I want that shit to be like direct. I'm like, no, oh. I want you to have like a leopard print one. Or like a oh. leopard print. Yeah. Yeah. I see you a leopard print. Yeah. I see you a leopard print. What about you, Soul? <laughs> what about you, Soul? Mine. I would sol, be, sol. Mm, okay, I see that. Sol. That's sol. too close though, to your real to my name. Yeah, it is. You don't get found out. Yeah, yeah, found. yeah. yeah. You find your identity. Damn, I don't want that. No, unless they're cute. That. Unless you're cute. <laughs> <laughs> unless I actually want you to find. I will out. be um, do like a WWE wrestler and like the Undertaker. <laughs> You walk out Here with the comes cap. the Undertaker He has a cap and the cape Or just a fucking speedo yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gonna be like The idea in your head And you're just gonna come out Like Nacho Libre <laughs> <laughs> Hello ladies like, like I had the best idea I swear Straight up Nacho Libre like, Oh my god okay, you yours? What's yours? I don't know if this is a porn name or a stripper name, but I, I'd be down to be like Coctimus Prime or something like that. <laughs> now you're the Osito I Vergon. Like, I feel like you want to make. I feel like you want to make your customers feel like they can relate to you with a real normal name. Okay, right? Osito. Yeah. Osito. Bro, I'm, I'm already thinking says. ahead. I, I, Osito. I, I From what that one girl said, Osito Vergon. Osito Vergon. Osito. You can also be Osito. Osito. Yeah. Here comes El Osito. <laughs> I, have to be, I, have to be a, I have to be in a very Hispanic area though. I can't just kiss in there. Osito. Why people are gonna be like Osito? What's, come, what's, an, what's an come here? My Osito. Then you just show him. <laughs> like I'll show you. <laughs> you go. I'll show you what <laughs> Osito is. Find out. <laughs> How about? Can you give us a stripper name? What would you think our stripper name would? Because you got to kind of know us. Yeah, you got some. Okay. Um. I feel like I don't really know. Like I've male never strippers? been to a. Male do you know? Stripper. Yeah, I was gonna say. Do you I know? I've never been to like a male strip club. I've been to like some like gay clubs that have like male strippers. Yeah. Oh, those are cool. Like on there, but like <laughs> it's not like. Gay clubs are the shit. No, it's just the way you yeah, casually Aaron. said it. The way you casually <laughs> said like, it. Like, like, don't be like, dissing cool? Yeah. The way you casually said it, like, oh, yeah, they're cool. Like, <laughs> like if you've experienced them before. Like twice. Yes. Yeah, like gay, yeah. Clubs like are, a, um, gay clubs are the shit. A gay shrimp club? He's mentioned No, no not, not a gay club. Yeah. been to a gay club. I mean, no, he's talking about, she's talking about gay no, shrimp club. No, she's talking about a gay yeah. club. She said gay shrimp club. No. But then she said gay club. Yeah. She's been to a gay club. I haven't been to a male strip club, but I've been to a gay club like that had like male strippers. Like 340. So it's not a gay strip club. No. no it's not. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. There's just men in cages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like the go-go dancers. Yeah, they're yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That's what yeah. I would do. Some shit like that. Yeah. I like good, good money. I feel like I don't you know. could. Like, you could. Do they even get? Do they even get tipped? They do get tipped. Really? Yeah. They, they put the tip, the money in their underwear. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I just. I'd Bro, think. How about sure. would this be? Sure. Most of the time, it's usually women that are, like, tipping you. So yeah, it's like yeah. not a big deal. But I think. Hmm. Let's see. We gotta give you guys like nice like wins. Yeah, we're bougie yeah. strippers. Like we're too. bougie strippers. Bougie like, yeah, strippers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get flown out here and like there. our champagne rooms are like two thousand, three thousand. Yeah. Two thousand. Yeah. We were expensive. at the finest club in New York. Yeah. In New York. In the Manhattan. It's area. a loft. <laughs> we're, we party at a loft. We're basically J Lo from Hustlers. We were in that yeah, yeah, type yeah. of strip club. The oh my fancy. No, nah, I'm actually I'm a ratchet stripper. You're like <laughs> I cost fifty dollars for a dance. <laughs> oh and then you're the type to ask like, hey, are you doing anything? Yeah, I'm the one. I'm like, I'm like. Take me out this life. <laughs> Take me out this life. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard coming up with like stripper names for you guys. I like yeah. Carlos. Carlos. Carlos works out for yeah, you. Yeah, I think Carlos works out for Catch you. Catch me stripping. I feel like you could be like a Roberto. A Roberto. 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 That's funny you say that. That was going to be my name. What? That was my, my, my parents going to name me Roberto. What about, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I guess I'm a just, Roberto. What if you just took your brother's name instead? Roberto. You know, your name is Azul. Here, Here comes, comes Roberto. Raul. Uh, I'm Raul. What's up, you get guys? your brother's name? Here comes Paul. Paul. <laughs> walk out there. Paul Blart. Nonchalant. Hey, how's it going, guys? Oh, <laughs> you hey. walk out like that. Aaron yeah. would be... Vicente. I don't know. Yeah. Vicente? I don't know. That's my middle mm-hmm. name. That's my middle name. name. Vicente. Oh, no. Mm, I'm trying to think of a stripper name for you. Yeah, woman hater, whatever you want to call me. Like, okay. I, I, adios. Sure. How about we name you Adios? Let's yeah. name you like Fabio. 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 Yeah. Fabio. 
Here comes Fabio. And now to the stage, welcome Fabio. Fabio. <laughs> Come out there. Oh my God, he must be so sexy. Some chubby ass dude. Fabio. Hey, girls love those. <laughs> girls, love those. <laughs> girls, love, girls love the bear. Girls love the bear. I hope they, they do. Did you just hear SZA's little song? It's like, I want a big boy. Yeah, it's big boy season. It's big boy. Yeah, it's hunting season I'm still for the waiting, big boys. Man. It's big I'm boy waiting. season. Um, have you I've guys been waiting. You've been waiting. Like Have you been waiting. actively looking for a girl? No, nope. that's the thing. That's the thing. He no. seems like all heartbroken and stuff, and then he's just like, I haven't actually been. Looking. Give me pick me energy. Yeah. Pick yeah, me vibes. Sure. Don't, don't do <laughs> is he, is he don't, pick me vibes? Don't do with them. He's like, yeah, I can't find love. Are you looking? No. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried? Because no. you guys always say, just let it find you, bro. But you also gotta. But you, but you gotta, gotta like push yourself out there. You gotta put the bait in the in the. I'm in out the pond. there. I'm out there. I'll be like, hi. You Bro, know? Aaron hangs around with bad bitches on the weekly, and yeah. he's over here telling us no. Cause they're. Fr- <sighs> Do I have to go out with my friends? Really? What if What if they want to be more than friends? Yeah. What that? if they don't? They're my friends. You don't know that, have you? Yeah, asked? I do know that. I know. For, I don't need to ask. Why would I ask? That's a weird question. To ask my friend. And it's I know it's yeah. cool. that's because a that's, friend. Like I feel like you gotta have like your friendships. But yeah, but he's been but, doing but this he, all his life. But if he hangs out with bad bitches only, he should have an easier. Like he's an advantage. What I, don't, advantage. I don't have an. I don't have an advantage. Just, Tell your friends. I just to happen be to have very good looking friends. What you have an advantage saying? if if ten of if five of us show up, just all dudes, right? And yeah. then you show up with five girls. Girls are gonna they're like, gonna go, go to, to you, you because it's safer over there than with five homies. Fuck this simple math. And then you tell your friends if they're your real friends. <sighs> yeah, and, and you yeah, that's how you figure it out. You'd be like, hey, can you help me get that girl that I think she's cute? Maybe because my friends don't want to be bothered with trying to try to hook me up. Maybe they just want to have fun at the club. How you know that? That's fun. Like setting people up is fun. Setting people up, well, when that uh, when that girl backed her shit into you, I wasn't even there. I was having fun. Yeah, uh, I was getting those Snapchats. Yeah, when that girl was working your shit, that uh, <laughs> you're just like, whoa. I don't buy. Don't act. Don't oh, yeah, yeah. Me No, no, that one, that one doesn't count though. Why not? Because Hans is is the one that hooked it up. But you exactly. see how easy the girl hooked it up. Okay, but it doesn't count because never mind. Whatever. Okay, Aaron, I'll be your wing woman. Yeah. See, wing, wing woman is way easier than wing man. Uh, yeah. You have a volunteer. The only wing man I like is Mario. Seth doesn't even go out to the club. What the fuck? <laughs> club, it's never gonna work. Club. Have you guys um? I saw a picture today. It was generated by AI. Um, it was Trump getting arrested. Seen it. And this shit looks so real. Have you guys seen this? No, I haven't seen it. You ever heard all the AI voice videos? Or the AI shit's going yeah. crazy. I love the ones with like Trump and Biden and Obama They're playing, playing Minecraft. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. That's I love and the one then, the presidential zombies. Oh my god! That's just the zombies. Fun. They basically play zombies. Uh-huh. Like it's it's Trump, Biden, Obama, and usually like George Bush. <laughs> and that shit's fucking hilarious, yeah. dude. It's so funny. I love when they randomly put like Drake and Ice Spice. In yes, <laughs> dude. They make Drake so zesty in their shit. For real. They make like there's one and like the ones I've seen. They make Drake and like Biden like basically have like a little like bromance. <laughs> They're like, what's going on, my little Biden boo? And <laughs> shit like Legend that. Right? It's just hilarious. You can just swipe through them and you see all the. Like I'm gonna cash right. out myself. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I know, bro. See, that's that's the mentality. That's a hustle mentality. Yeah, people. Yeah. Have like, you done that? Um, I have done that recently because, like, drunk guys think like they're gonna get my number. Yeah. Thing. And if they're being an asshole, like, I'll literally like Go just on the cash, cash out myself. How much? I think the most I've ever cashed out myself was like three hundred dollars. Hell yeah! <laughs> Shit. Can you cash out me some money next time? Hey, what? <laughs> what what happened? Cash out? What the fuck is honest? Geraldo? Honest question. What Geraldo. happens? <laughs> what happens if we go to a strip club, we blow a bag, and then I call my bank the next day and I'm like, "Hey, I think someone took my card." Um. Well, if you, well, one, if it's an ATM, you you put your pin in there, so it's hard for your bank to dispute if you put your you put pin, pin in there because you're. Someone had to know that pin. So, so they're like, it's, card. Mm. yeah. So a lot of people, okay, I'm not telling you this, but I'm telling you this. But like, if you like go someplace and you spend a lot of money and you just press like green for credit, you could be like, hey, like somebody stole my card. Cause like they didn't put the pin in or anything. It was like a credit like mm. transaction. We all today to the strip but, club. Like, but like, at but my nothing- strip club, if they pay with a card, like for rooms and stuff, yeah, they like sign it and they have to put their fingerprint oh, on smart. it. So like they it's- can't say like they didn't spend that money. Damn, but uh, you've so heard really, that stuff happening? It, well, I mean, shit, I already got my money. Yeah, yeah. In fact, it, it would just meet before the guy or uh, the club. The club would like be like, no. Because oh. the bank will call the club. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's really hard to get your money yeah. back from that. <laughs> I always see, I've been seeing that stuff on TikTok. I'm you can do it more like at like at like actual at, clubs, like like, I feel like, like I, model servers and shit. Yeah, because you're like, oh, I, I, I was I was at that club, but I lost my card. Someone else used my card. You just you have to have a good credit card. I say Discover, American Express are really good at. But um, it's also hard claiming. to do that because most clubs take your ID too. Yeah, most clubs they take do. your ID and your card, mm-hmm. so it's like hard to like. 
say it's fraud. That's why you gotta do Amex yeah, for Discover. They don't really ask too many questions. <laughs> I lost my ID. Someone took my ID and, and they my disguised themselves as me and they yeah, went yeah. to a strip club. They're wearing the and same spent hat. spent thousands of dollars. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying. Same clothes. Yeah. <laughs> he spoke exactly like me. I swear. You might have a phone though. call from me last night saying, yes, it's me. I'm spending this money. Wasn't me. So, 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 I, there, so you sorry. might find a story of me on Instagram going, ah, but, but it, was it not wasn't me. me. It wasn't me. The bank um, sends you like screenshots of you fucking at the club with like two bottles. Like this, you, did you <laughs> see sure Dom P's you? on your Are shit? Sure this like is, this, this you? Did you see nah. that um that picture that was just released of I think it was a basketball player who the the strip John Yeah, he yeah. was just at the strip Bro, club. Bro, man was going gun? wild. Yeah, but like also like they just took a picture of him. What was he doing that at the strip club with the gun? No, he no the the gun was like at the bus or like when he was going up that way. Uh huh. But the the strip club picture is him it's like, just him like, like that. with a stripper just one stripper floor so full of cash you can't see the floor it yeah. just looks like green but I'm like why would the strip he's club release that though. picture idiot, bro. no he's back he's back now he's at I think three, well, like, two some, more games or this game's his first will, game like, hire yeah like, but he's fucking will, up will invite like rappers and players. stuff like that yeah. to promote the club mm, like it's a know? popping but club no this guy was just going like he went like he reeled off like what he was supposed to be doing mm -hmm. it was like worth 200 million dollars and like yeah but like sometimes the clubs will take pictures and stuff like that of like the people that are there oh, for promotion pr promo mm -hmm. you know like but yeah. like the, but the people like that are doing that and if they didn't agree or like stuff like that they could sue the club mm -hmm. you yeah. know and be like hey i didn't authorize this no nah, they were like at a champagne room like he looked like in his own room and shit like that oh then it seems like it was probably one of his buddies that mm -hmm. would have posted it, it probably like, was like someone you know? someone close to him yeah, yeah. But uh, I think when you're rich and famous, you don't have no dress code, bro. Because you're just bringing in all that You're just money. bringing cash. Yep. Facts. Well, I think it's so a I good feel like a lot of strip clubs, they don't know hats in, and you always see these rappers with their fucking hats on. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to tell you, no, don't wear a hat. You're going to give me $5,000. Exactly. Facts. Yeah. Yeah, we're like, why complain? We're like, girl, so why'd you ask about Donald Trump's AI pictures? Oh, because I was going to say, like, if I ever got caught cheating, I'd just say it was AI. It was an AI generated picture. Straight up. Me at the strip club, AI. Yeah, it wasn't even me. Yeah, I think in the future, it's going to be so easy to cheat with AI. For example, like, let's say 10 years, right? My girlfriend, like, say I'm a celebrity, and then someone took a picture of me, like, fucking macking down Becky G. <laughs> they're gonna be like you and Becky, bro. Just give it up. She's married. They're now. gonna be like, yo, got a picture of you. It's right here. I was like, nah, babe. I swear it's AI. Look, I can do the exact same thing with you and someone else. And she's like, oh my god. So I think it'd be way easier. Why are you thinking this? Yeah, because nah, he, I just like plotting it. for the future. He's nah, like, yeah, I'm loyal as fuck. But I just, I, I like to see that's every. Not, that's not a fake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just very like, um, what's that word when you're just like super in, in, in stats? So you want to see every possible outcome. You know, so I yeah. think that's, so I was just like, I mean, if AI, if they can do this with like a Trump, what can you use with it for? Trump? <laughs> you know? With a Trump. With a Trump picture. <laughs> because it's just an AI version of and Trump. And it looked real. When I saw that picture, yeah. I was like, oh shit, they arrested Trump. But it's just an AI generated photo. That's crazy. Speaking yeah. of famous people, you guys hear the big news? What? First of all. Do we do still believe the Kardashian curse is real? Because I feel like it oh, is. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Bad Bunny yeah. getting sued. Bad, Bunny? Bad, Bunny's Bad Bunny getting, getting sued. Oh, like 40 mil? Yeah, like yeah. 40 mil. Five, wow. They said 5 mil. Nah, I, I heard 40. Like 40. I heard 40. I heard 40. 5, five mil, mil was just, I feel like. Five, they five been, he just yeah. like here. Yeah, yeah. But 40, that's. Yeah. By his ex, Carlis, uh, they dated around like 2011 to 2016. They were about to get married too. Then they like broke up like two months before the, the wedding but yeah it was for two of his songs where she like says Bad the Bunny, Bunny, the three words, yeah. imagine 40 Yo, million for three ass, words though. Yeah, but it like is it. pretty iconic though so. it's ass like it's uh, not even good like that intro is like Bad Bunny it doesn't even sound on the same key it doesn't even go with the no, song no I know I know but it's, it's still like, iconic why? though it's still pretty iconic so. I mean we can re we can like retrace it right away so I yeah. think it is pretty iconic it is 40 yeah. million dollars of yeah, our yeah, memories so crazy. I feel like dude just stop fucking with these Kardashians slash Jenners bro they're just they're a true curse bro I'm, I'm telling you, like, why is it that once you start going out there, all this bad shit, and people start hating him right after that? Oh, like, even the, even the drummer, the drummer broke his hand, right? The what's his name? Tra oh, Travis, uh, Trevor, Travis, 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 Park, Travis Parker, Parker, Parker. Yeah. He Travis broke his Parker. hand, so like they canceled the the fucking show. Damn, like some other shows. <laughs> shit. Yeah, <laughs> these women need to be fucking like scientifically like fucking. Look, you know what? I, look a, at a whole shit. class. But I think it is a curse. I mean, there's like a curse, like a bunch of like a bunch of like like celebrity like women, like Sierra. What's her curse? Um, I just want to. Isn't, isn't she married to fucking Russell Wilson? Yeah, and like he started sucking after they started. Ah, uh, <laughs> shit. Being together. Wait, uh, what, didn't he win the Super Bowl when they were together? 
It was before really? like, they were together. I think so. That's crazy. You can fact check me on that, but I don't know. This this is just vibes. Just vibes. It's yeah. just vibes. My uh, someone used to say Sierra's cursed coochie. Sierra's yeah. cursed coochie. No, that's not yeah. Kardashians for sure. Their I'm coochies are cursed it. for sure. Yeah. Once you stick that tip in, you're cursed, my boy. You're, you're cursed. cursed. Just fucking get out of there, dude. Just get out the fuck right. out of there, bro. You take a curse for the tip? Hell no. Nah. Knowing that I'm doing good, <laughs> bro. It's just super random how. Like, the, he had the entire world in his hands, right? Is then he, he starts dating this chick, and now everything's coming out. Everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like, the timing is just so suspicious, bro. God's to, timing to, is always right. God's to the point where I'm like, let's just say he bad, never, let's just say he never dated her, right? Would a Carlisa have ever came out? Maybe, maybe not. We never know. But yeah. all I know is, bro, like, it's funny t- ass timing that they start dating and boom, she comes out like a month later. No, that's the thing. That Hailey Bieber also got hate when she was hanging out with Kendall. Is she part, is she part of the curse? Yeah, she's part of the. Oh, yeah, the whole Hailey Bieber just part of it all. Shit. Curse I'm still curse. down, though. She's she a petty bitch. Yeah, she a petty yeah, bitch. Selena. She a petty bitch. No, Team Selena. I'm not the way. Some curse Gucci. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. You think it'd be worth it? Really? I think For so. which one? <laughs> I had to do it. Kylie. I had to do it. Kim. Too. I have to hold it to the oldest one. Kim? Oh, no. Chloe? Kendall. Oh, Ka- Kendall. No. No, no. What's her name? Chris. Chloe. Chloe's the oldest one. Isn't oh, no, 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 no. I want the oldest one. Chloe. That's totally cool. I, 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 I want the oldest one, but she's not a Kardashian. I don't know. Chris Jenner. Chris Jenner. Jenner. Yeah. Might as well go to the holy, holy coochie. Yeah. That one's not cursed. She's the one that puts the curse. She's. Oh yeah! Oh no! So I gotta defeat the. I gotta defeat the, the final boss. The final boss. <laughs> well, we don't know if she's cursed because she hasn't really. Has she really dated anyone that's super famous? No, exactly. She can date me. Yeah, I see it for sure. I mean, she's dating her like security guard now. Exactly. Was Corey? 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 Yeah, and they've been together for like forever. Yeah. Nothing, yeah. Nothing's been going on. Yeah. So, see, she's not the curse coochie she's one. She's not the curse. Well, I think it's a good place to wrap it up right here. It's been a great episode, honestly. What do you guys think though? What? Is it fa- is it is it a real act- curse? Is it no no, is it is it accurate for, is it like cool for her to sue him? You think she's in the right and the wrong? She got her bag. Let her get her bag. Forty yeah. mil might like, not be anything feel for like that he's money. Already, he should have learned his lessons with the whole um uh Missy Elliott thing. Mm-hmm. Like you know, if you don't ask someone for without the authorization and it's their voice, you're gonna get caught up. I feel like it was hard though because they were dating and they weren't. So he wasn't like, that big. He was. He, he They were dating. They, he she, he wasn't that big, and it was just kind of like, oh yeah, babe, I got you. And then, but now that they're like done, and he's like doing yeah. like better doing. It's that unwritten else, rule though. You, like, you gotta you gotta pay because at the no. end of the day, even though you're together or not, they're gonna come back sooner when you become even bigger. You don't know that. Like, yeah, 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 come oh, on, bro. Can't tell the future, bro. Bro, come on. It, you just can't. All, all I'm saying is he should have just paid her at that moment when that happened. Like, oh, here's fucking 100 grand. She's my girl. Your voice. She's my girl. Well, it doesn't matter. You're paying your girl. Here's 100 grand for your voice, babe. Thanks. It's like, and that way, boom, it's babe, like, can you, you open cannot up this, fucking yeah, yeah. sue me. Can you, you cannot open, sue me Can you ever. open up the pickle jar because it's too heavy? It's, it's like, it's just watching your bro. back, bro. It's watching your own back but at for the, the moment, future. it's love. At the moment, it's love. You're like, yeah. she will never do me dirty. It's like, I mean, like, when you're dating someone, like, you don't, like, plan a date to break up. You plan a date to, like, marry. Yeah, yeah. and, then, and, then, yeah. and then when you do things out of, so for better. somebody, you do it out of, like, the kind of your heart. She's not like, haha, I'm gonna plat this shit. So that's what I'm saying. Is she no longer not? I feel I like she. she I feel like she's not. I feel like I got opportunity. If there's opportunity. There you go. Then that's what I'm saying. For himself, he should have just been like, you know what? Here's this for doing this. That's there what I'm saying. At the moment, he probably was no, not. No, it's, just, about it's not even about the moment. It's about just. You're not listening anymore, Aaron. You're just shutting us off. Profe- <laughs> no, because it's professional. At the end of the day, it's all professional. It's all about business. 2013, Bad Bunny was not the same he is now. It's 10 yeah. years later. Shit, it's all the future, bro. It's 10, like he us 10 years seen, later. should have known I'm going to be a mega star. Maybe we have to Aaron's make you sign different. a contract. Aaron's different, bro. Maybe we have to make him sign a contract because he's bringing up all of these things. What if in 10 years we get sued? For forty million. Exactly. Now, now you're actually, signing a contract there for being a one. Now sued for what? Getting a contract. Yeah. Sued for what though? Now everyone's getting contract. You're getting contract. You're getting contract. Only Aaron has to sign contract. Only Aaron has to sign contract. What contract. have you used of mine that I haven't Your been saying? Yes. The whole show. The whole show. And what I, if? I'm what if? To it. What if one day, like, I like get a bunch of money, right? And you're like, I think I deserve more money. And then you're like, and then you're like, well, I'm gonna sue you because I didn't sign anything. You technically bro. can. Yeah, I can, but I know we don't have that type of money right now. So. <laughs> He's like, it's but not Bunny right didn't have that type of money, money either. either back then. Come on, bro. bro. So now you're getting he, a contract. For a fact, he was still, gets a contract for a fact, he was still <laughs> making way more than what we're making right now at that time, too. So. Hey, Siri, add add contract to Aaron to my to-do list. <laughs> if you make me do a contract, I'm going to ask for more anyways, regardless of my contract. But you'll be on a contract. No. Yeah. 
If you get a, if you ask for more, I'm getting Hans. We'll get a dog. <laughs> we'll get a cat. We get a cat. A quiet one. We we'll get a kind cat. Of purrs yeah, and we shit. get a cat there. Yeah. You'll be replaced by a cat with a contract. And the the cat will make you see more that, money. You see that little stuffed bear you're sitting next to? That's I'm your okay. competition. <laughs> Watch out for that you just guy. You get like a build a bear with like, press, yeah, with like buttons. Press. <laughs> what do you think, bear? I think you're right, Saul. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I think we're in there right there. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. Um, thank That's you. Now, this was a long time coming. We've been wanting this forever. So we're super grateful for having you and for you being open and sharing all your knowledge in the industry. Appreciate like it so for much. Sure. Unlike other people. <laughs> <laughs> we had a strip on before and... I mean, she, wasn't she was like a low-key stripper. She was like a low-key stripper. Like her, her normal job and then yeah. the stripper uh, job. Type Patreon was cool, though. We also do a Patreon if you're down to do that. Um, can, you don't have to answer it right now because I know it's like the yeah. cameras are like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but yeah. Um, thank you so much. If you want to let the people know your socials, where oh, they can goodness. find you, your club, all that stuff. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my Instagram is xo.chacha.xo. My TikTok, which is temporarily banned right now is somebody, it I, thought, I saw it, i saw it this morning it's, yeah. it's it's still like active like it's still like, it's like on. Can't i can't log into oh, it right now it's like temporarily sure, suspended sure. um but that's sophia <laughs> officials um and my twitter is sophia unhinged Try. but if you go on any of those mm -hmm. you can see the link and it has my beacons for Sick. like everything so awesome and, and all her links will be down there below sophia too. is a real name guys <laughs> I literally said it. Yeah, she said it during name. the episode. That is not. Right. Fuck. I appreciate I you. I was though. trying to help out. <laughs> Cha Cha's her stripper name. Sophia's her real name. That was her grandma's. That was her grandma's name. Oh. name. Oh. Oh, my God. I know. I remember it. She's got there. Yeah. Well, it's you okay. guys. It's okay. You're trying. It's misogynistic. He hates yeah. women. He just doesn't listen to women. He just makes his own conclusions. Oh, God. <laughs> well thank you guys for watching uh make sure to stick around we're going to do our patreon shout outs in a bit you can find me at every social media platform at saul v gomez y'all can find me at i know caesar i hate women you know i you know that uh air bears cry yeah. <laughs> don't hate women fuck you're the shit. one that said it so, someone that yeah, hates women that much would have to say that they don't hate women that much more to just well, kind I of say it sarcastically so. all right what are your socials Thank you very much. Shout out Stephanie for being the ones and twos. Um, you can find her on IE and Besties and Steph's Got Milk. Yeah, and don't judge me. It's my first time. Yeah. So, so if, if the quality is terrible, just blame yeah, stuff. Go on IE and Besties and just yeah, blame go on, her. Go on, go on IE and Besties' newest video and be like, Steph, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Steph, WTF. Uh, well, thank you guys for watching so much and we'll see you next week. Peace. Bye. And now it's time to shout out our <laughs> Patreons. <laughs> Gotta get some WD-40. So if you guys subscribe to our Patreon, it's going to help us get some WD-40 for this mic. Oh, for real. <laughs> Every single time I moved it. <laughs> All right. So we're going to start. By the way, if you want to know what happens on Patreon, here's a little clip. Just like some ass. Damn. I moved my butthole again. Gosh darn it, Aaron. You're crazy on Patreon. You're crazy on Patreon. He's you didn't see that? Yeah. He uh, winked at you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to start off with Alex Gal Galindo. What up, what up, hey. Alex? Alex? What's up, Alex? Rolando Roman. What's hey. up, Rolando? Fidel, the billionaire menace. Oh, Fidel shit. Castro. What's up, what's up? What's up? Pull up on us. Like Jonathan, Joe Nava. What's up, Jonathan? Wait, what the fuck? I'm sorry, I read two names in one. John, shout out Jonathan. Jonathan. <laughs> Joel. <laughs> yeah, shout out Joel Nava. What's up, Joel? Shout out Breezy Wera Loquita. Oh, oh, that's her stripper name for sure. Wera Lu Loquita. <laughs> and now coming to the stage, Diana Sparza. Hey. Hey. Give it up for Abigail Aguilar. Yeah. I feel like that should be the announcement. Now come yeah, to the like stage. Stripper entrance? Yeah, I'm going to do like yeah. stripper entrance. Now come to the stage, the very beautiful and talented Fatima Corpeno. Yeah. You've seen her all over the country. <laughs> Evelyn Perez Villa. Yeah. Try to mix it up for you for you ladies out here today. So now we got David Naranjo. Hey. Naranja. We got Gloria Maravilla. Ooh, that's a good one. Don't, don't fall in love. Don't, don't fall, fall in don't love. Don't fall boys. in love with this next busty motherfucker. <laughs> Isaac Busto. Ooh, busty ass bitch right there. And we got our day one OG of the club, Lucero Chavez. Hey, Lucero Chavez. no introduction. You already know who's coming up. Kim, aka your girl, KK. KK. And then we got 
Jesus Guzman, ready to save you from your marriage. The moment you've all been waiting for. Mar the girl you've been seeing around town. The one you told you to not fall in love with because she's very sexy. Maria Felipe. Yeah. Philip. Then we got Karen Suspedes. Mm. Michi Moo. <laughs> Michi Moo. She brings up the ass and she brings a lot of ass. Now we got Dalia Garcia. Shoot me your tia. She do got ass though. <laughs> We got Zonia Lopez Reyes. Hell yeah. We got Gabriel Arroyo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gets it real wet, if you know what I'm saying. Huge dick. <laughs> Richard Martinez. Might as well just call him Dick. Raquel Serda. Mm. Ma mm. Mari. I haven't just tripped over that much. I don't know how many entries there <laughs> no, are. No, 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 no. Yeah. I'm running on like WWE red entrances now. Yeah. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. From Texas, <laughs> from Dallas, Texas, weighing in. No, I'm not saying. Uh, in Genesis, this yeah. in, this <laughs> in this corner. Genesis, Bustamente. And oh, in the blue corner, well we got Paulina Lule. Then we got Miriam Rubacalba. Oh. Uh, so we got Mumbo, El Diablo. Yeah. Razor, Ramon, Bone, Hedges, Hedges, Flores. Flores. Iris and Ninguez. She'll take your Iris. money like the Iris too. Rebecca Pinon. Ortiz Empire. Juan, Juan Carlos, Carlos. Janelle Juan. Martinez. Juan Carlos. Chuy de Grass Valley. De Grass Valley, yes. Damien Morales. Pedro Cincineros. Vanessa Panda Vega. Sandra Gonzalez. Ooh. Oscar Martinez. Ooh. Amarazzi Cano. Stripper fucking. Laura Serafin. Wow. Laura. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Louder with the popping out here. A lot of fucking traffic here. Felipe Chavez, Kike y la novia Perez. Kike, George. get on that way. He, he's one of the three ugly ones at the club. <laughs> oh. No, oh. Really? Oh. no, I'm just playing Kike. No, that's I'm a just slogan playing. on like a real. Yeah, thing. that's what I'm oh, saying. The, the deja vu. Deja vu. It's like 99 pretty girls and three, and ugly, three ugly ones. ones. I always go looking for the ugly ones. I swear to God. For, I just um, want well, I know where one is, man. There's a deja vu that's in my city, and they are not cute. <laughs> Everyone there's the ugly one. <laughs> George yeah. Martinez. What up, boy? Hey, Joelo, Lupita, Lupita Cuia, Liliana Juarez, <laughs> Junior, Bernice Vargas, what up, what up, what David up. Ramos, what up, David? Eileen, Thank you, Eileen, Bradley Lopez Martinez, hey, Bradley, old, I read OG. Bradley, Julio right Mejia, what's up, Julio? Ka uh, Katie, Angela Santoyo, Freddy so Zapin, and M. Because she'll leave you. Mm, mm, mm. She'll leave you wanting more. Mm. And now these guys are the ones who make it to the champagne room. Oh, we should change it to the tier called champagne room. We should. It'd we be should. fun. We should change it to champagne, champagne room. lounge. But these guys are the big ballers of the club. VIP only. Big dicks, no big tits, big booty, whatever you want to call Their it. Their champagne rooms are 4K and up every single time. We got the bottle service tier. Marcos Dominguez Gomez. What up, Marcos? Marcos. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got Andrea E. Ortega. Sheesh. Andrea. Andrea. Her Andrea's got the, the big old fatty mm. back there. Lyric DLB. Making it rain. Making it no, rain. I heard, I heard that dude has a huge ass wiener. David Alvi. What's up, David? Daddy Alvi? Oh, don't even get me started. That fool has a monster schlong. And Julian Ramirez. Sheesh. All Julian? Don't even get me started. Yeah, Julian. <laughs> Uh, thank you guys thank you guys so much <laughs> thank you guys so much for being part of our patreon and now we're going to film our patreon so go make sure to check it out peace i have gotten paid to fart before okay oh, oh, shit. Wait, how much? Oh, how much? I, got, I got paid this guy was just like hey i'm gonna give you um he basically gave me a laxative so he was just like hey like i have like this proposition he got like a champagne room with me which is you know a thousand dollars for yeah, the yeah. hour he like gave me a laxative. He's like, here you go. Like, I want you to fart. And he's like, every fart you do, like, I'll give you like 50 bucks on top of like what you did. I ended up farting like three times. So I got actually $150 for this fucking thing. You should have had some Yo, Jack in the Box before though. or some Taco Bell. What if you farted? He, he gave me a laxative and he like bought me tacos from the club.